Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Encore Esports Smashed Out Melee Weekly. It's your boy Toucan here on the mic starting off tonight. We got Concussed versus Scrub Round 1. We got Falco versus Puff, presumably. Um, so, both these players have really been showing their stuff lately. Like, everyone here has basically leveled up the past few weeks since we came back. And I'm really loving this. Like, um, Concuss beat me a few weeks ago. I haven't played Scrub since um, last year, actually. So I want to see how he's doing. Scrub is known to being a very patient Falco. Oh my god, but um, he's being aggressive right off the bat right there. Oh my god, the side B spike. I really love that idea. The good DI is going to keep uh, Puff alive for now. Um, all right, we got, some, we got a friend joining us. Um, so, so far... Scrub, showing dominance in this matchup right now. He's got the lead, only 35 seconds in. Yo, what's up? You know, before this match, uh, Concuss told me that Falco was actually his best matchup. Uh, he was saying that he could beat Smokey Blunts' Falco. Really? Which, yeah, which didn't happen. Smokey Blunts' Falco bopped him. <laughs> but, I mean... You gotta put your money where your did, mouth is. <laughs> he did take, like, two stocks each game, so... Ooh, okay. I, mean, I guess that's better. <laughs> that's better than he did against Smokey Blunts' Fox, I think. Yeah, so it looks like Concuss is not a man of his word right now. He's getting bodied right now by Scrub. He's not he, getting bodied, but, like, he's definitely not winning. Yeah. Scrub takes no stock on answer, yeah, then, yeah, he's getting bodied. He's looking for the dares. He does keep his double jump, so he will survive. Oh, but that fair will do it. Okay, so Concuss is on the board. Yeah, there you go. Let's see what he can do. It's one one. It's one up throw rest away from an even game, to be honest. I mean, but if he does it properly, then he can get a puni rest punish. Oh no! Which would kill at that percent. So I don't know what that air dodge was. I think that was probably like a a, a missed input in terms of the direction on the cease on the control stick. Yeah, he was trying to get to the stage probably. Oh, very nice combo right there, and he goes for the suicide dare and gets it, and Scrub takes game number one. Yeah. This is our 88th weekly, by the way, so we're approaching number 100. I I don't know what if there's anything planned for number 100. I'm assuming there will be, but uh, stay tuned, folks. Anyway, game number two, we're going to Fountain. I say this is a much better stage for Puff. Yeah, it messes up uh, Falco's short hop lasers, and it's also got the high ceiling. Oh, yeah, so Falco will be... That benefits Falco greatly. Um, no, that benefits Puff. Oh, yeah. Oh, miss rest. Uh, here comes the punish. Oh, he gets the reverse hit on the F smash. So he's going to live because of that. Ooh, that tr the tricky trickster Scrub is right there. Like I said, Scrub is a very patient Falco. He likes to wait out what you're going to do and then punish accordingly. He's done that against me, and he's showing that against Concussed right about now. And he's showing doing it very well. He has a one-stock lead right now. Uh, but, but yeah, that's uh, definitely a dead Falco. Yeah, that is a dead bird right there. So now we have a dead even game. I honestly think Concussed is playing a little bit too aggressively right now. Like, he plays great when he plays uh, Stalia. I mean, that's what Puff is in general. But his biggest weakness is that he honestly just plays too aggressively. That he wins when he play when he takes his time, tries to wait out with the opponent, just spaces his back airs, and I think he's going for a little bit too aggression right right now. That's definitely Puff in general. You do, like Puff is not a very aggressive character. Puff is, it, Puff can't really take space that well. Like, he can take a lot of space above you, but like on the ground, he's just too slow. Yeah, or she. We don't know this particular Jigglypuff's gender, but it is both male and female. I like to uh, imagine that it changes based on like the skin. So like I think the red one's female. I like to think of that. I don't know. I just consider the normal one a female just because, I don't know, it just sounds feminine. I don't know. I never heard a masculine Jigglypuff before. That I would Jigglypuff. laugh. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. You know, many years ago, someone on American Idol actually sang that. <laughs> Did I'm dead she, serious. Look it up. Did they have a sad backstory? <laughs> no. Ah, uh, they lost. But Randy Jazz is like, man, what is going on with Austin, <laughs> Texas, man? <laughs> it's so, it's hilarious. I think I actually saw that episode when I was a kid. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was just laughing. Um, so anyway, Concuss actually has the lead right now, but he is sitting at a very precarious percent, and there he goes. I'm not gonna. It is a bit surprising to see a Puff live to that high percent, though. Ooh, rest opportunity. Oh, does not go for it. He's playing it safe. I don't blame him, though. That will not do it. He gets it. He wisely side B's back to the stage. 
Oh, that shield is getting B. low. Works against a lot of characters. Works against right. Marth a lot, too. All right. Predicts the roll in with the shine. Very nice stuff. Back air will not take it, but Puff is at kill percentage right about now. Yeah, another, like, early back air will get him. All right. I don't agree with these down tilts, unfortunately. Puff's down tilt is something that you do not see. It, it, can, let, it can catch people at the ledge a little bit, but it's not really the best move because it, it doesn't send them that very, very far, yeah, even it, at high percent. It, it also doesn't stay out as long as Puff's other attacks, to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Like, it's not necessarily bad, but Puff just has better things that, she, that they could be doing. Yeah, um, even if he doesn't get back to ledge, Puff can just space with back airs. Um, but he, Concuss is in the lead right now. So let's see if he can bring yeah. us to a game three. That up smash will take it. We have a dead even game. So Concuss is already on his uh, winner's life uh, his winner's life right now. Oh, I think he went for forward smash right there. I looked away, but judging by the sound effect. Another thing, the last time these two played, I know that uh, Concuss won. So I didn't watch that set. I didn't watch it either. But good for him. Oh my god, F. no! Press, Press F, in the, F in the chat, please. For this poor man. Pay oh, concuss. To his dreams. Why there? Why there? All right, I got to play. I got to so play. So I'll see you guys. On <laughs> oh, we got to play each other. Yeah, kind of. Oh, the pity, curse. Yeah, oh my god. Commentary okay. against commentary. All we'll right. see you guys on the flip side. Excited for some Marth Icy gameplay. You may see some flat camping from the Marth player, edge cancel aerials, and then some wobbles. It's going to be a great time. Just waiting for them to set up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm trying. I'm trying to get them all to come. It's on, or my uh, phone sound is on. Gotta turn that off. I'm assuming Regex won the RPS. Probably gonna ban FD, hopefully. Thank God. I mean, they're probably gonna go to Dreamland. Yeah. Okay, so. I don't know. I've never seen these two play, so we'll see how it goes. Doing some approaching fairs, which is a little interesting. I don't think I, the way I I know this matchup is kind of just just camp the heck out of ICs like every other character. Oh my! I think he could have smashed, but he's going for a fair instead. Mm. Two Kenji was just waiting there because he knew that Regex would go in, attack the Nana. Uh, Cassie wants me to explain how he plays his matchup, and it's the way I explain. He just camps them with fair walls and down tilts because ICs have a hard time getting through that. Because if you're if you're just hitting their shield and it's unspaced, you're gonna get grabbed and die. Like right now, you're getting it's getting freaking wobble. Down their up smash, the cool way to end a wobble. 
Tyoon Tian. Oh, Blizzard Walls. I've heard from many a Marth player that that's impossible to beat. I don't think that's true in any way, but Marth players like to hate their character, so they'll just keep saying that. Oh no. <laughs> that could have been horrible for Regex, but I don't know. 2K didn't really capitalize on the, the Miss Ledge grab. Down smash, probably meant to be down tilt. Hey, that, that should be death. Yeah, could've just grabbed ledge. Just like, no risk involved. Can't mess it up either. Hey, more ice blocks and dash dancing on side plats. Kind of what I wanted or said Marsh to do. Oh no. <laughs> I smashed in the wrong direction, not punish. I love that 2 can't try to do Marth Killer, but he's way too late. <laughs> oh no. Uh, a messed up down tilt leads to an SD by Regex. It's unfortunate. I wonder if he needed the down there, down, down there, there, because it looked like he could have wobbled, but I don't really know how it works, to be honest. Hey, three stocks of one. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of, kind of interesting that Marth went to Dreamland. Most Marths hate this, but like maybe they hate FOD more in the matchup because the Blizzards might mess up their platform stuff. And he hit Nana back onto the stage, which I don't know if that was an accident or not, but. I kind of just want to knock her off as much as possible. That was decent. That was a good pivot to bait out the show grab. The stage is fine versus climbers. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I think the stage is fine in general, but most marks hate it, so... Percent. I mean, this should be a uh, death. Yeah. Hey, well, two stocks to go against Icy's might be rough for Marth, but who knows? Maybe he just gets a lucky F smash. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this should be it. Hey. Yeah, that was definitely it. <laughs> Okay, so if we cancel up 1-0, probably gonna go to Yoshi's, I, I would think. Or, no, nah, that's probably banned. So, maybe Battlefield, I don't know. Yeah, okay. So probably Battlefield. That's kind of the same... You have to have the same game plan, the stage is Dreamland, so he just has to execute the last game plan better. Which... I don't know what his game plan is currently, but... Oh, oh! He almost got Nana off, but he kind of wasn't. He didn't notice that Toucan was close enough to punish what he was doing. That should be a dead Nana. Yeah. He just has to grab Popo. No. Oh, you're good. Hey, he's back to the platforms. Against Popo, I don't know how good that is because it's Popo. You can kind of just do whatever you want to him. And you have no hitboxes that go below you, so. I think playing the ground might be better. Spot dodge toward the corner. Another down smash? Really weird. Missed L cancel on Darren to die. Unfortunate. And so he's just doing what he needs to do. He just needs a down tilt wall, like fair down tilt, just not letting him 
weave dash in to get grabs around here. Ram smash attacks. Now it's back to two climbers, so he's gonna have to be careful. I wonder why he's not grabbing at all, because I believe Ethno and Martha's pretty good in the matchup. Eric, you can correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure Ethno will uh, hit the other climber. That was a pretty nice gimp on a banana. Random F smash in neutral to down smash poke to kill Marth. He's like shielding a lot, which for Marth isn't bad, just because his shield is so so tiny that these good smash attacks are gonna start start poking him soon. It, like he only has to shield for a very little amount of time for his smash attacks to poke him. That was good spacing. These S smashes on shield are gonna. They, they really should be costing more than they are. Because they're not even like tippered most of the time. They're kind of just like weaker smash tags. Yeah, like that. That just. That's just a grab. Every time. Every day of the week, that should be a grab. Nana just keeps dying so early every stock. I like to see Regis grab ledge a little bit against the Popo. Alright, well that should be death. Yeah, last stock. Dang, I just want to see him not just F smash his shield. I just want to see Regis not F smash the Icy shield. Unless it's Tipper. But even then it's like kinda not it's it's just a little scary. Oh that was such a good opportunity, but unfortunately nothing came out of it. Icy's being above Marth. Oh my goodness. The shield was low enough to wear that work that time. Oh no. I wonder if he meant a shield drop or not, but that was like a shield drop aerial. That could have like turned it around. Oh no. This is when this is when the Marth start throwing out F smashes and it's gonna cost him. I almost guarantee it. Yep. Oh! Oh, the blizzard. Yeah, okay, now it's over. Dang. 2K wins, 2-0. Again, the smash attacks are just rough. Hey, Jake, you're going to show up in chat and not even say hello? What the heck? Hello. What's up, guys? I'm back. All right, we got Smokey versus Manjaz. I don't know who Manjaz plays. I was about to say, I don't have no clue who Manjaz is. This is the first I've heard of him. I, I know that he's been to Rockland tournaments, which is my quote-unquote local, but... <laughs> Did I wobble him? Um, Not as much as you think, but yes, I did wobble him. <laughs> You got a couple of them. Yeah, yeah I got like two. Yeah. Wait, who is that? It's Sylvanas Windrunner from Warcraft 3. Oh. I played Warcraft 3, not WoW. Oh, I've never played that game. I played uh, 14 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I've played zero hours of World of Warcraft. It just looks confusing as hell. I thought that was something out of Freedom Planet. I thought that was Lilac from Freedom Planet at first. That's an indie game based off Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a really, oh. it's a really good game, you know, by the way. Man, about to win this set. Let's see, though. Um, that would be quite the upset. He's got the Back to the Future 2 hat, too. Mad respect there. I love the Back to the Future series. Anyway, Smokey Blends versus Manjaz. Game number one going to Final Destination. That's a... Oh, that's a bet, folks. <laughs> I think that's a... <laughs> that's a safe one. I, yeah. <laughs> it's a safe one. All right. Looks like Smokey's running around uh, wrecking Manjaz a little bit. 
Oh, good um, tech on the shine, but unfortunately he SDs. That really sucks because that was a really good tech. It's interesting. This is an interesting stage to start on, especially since Smokey's like the better player. And if uh, one of the players is just better than you, like if it's a space ditto and one of the players is better than you, they're kind of just going to. They have such an advantage on FD. Yeah, because of chain grabs and stuff. There's no platforms. They'll, they'll just combo you better. Yeah. All right, looks like Manjess is putting in a little bit of work, though. I like this. Although he's been, he's pretty much been lapped in percent right about now, and there's another, there's an up, sm up smash to take it. Yeah, Smokey missing a wave shine right there, or a wave dash out of shine. This looks really tough for Manjas. Oh, the power shield. That was a good wave dash back, but he, uh, he shined one. instead of like jumping in. Mm. He just keeps trading jabs, which at this percent is kind of good, but I don't know. Trading is just definitely not what Manjas wants to do right now. Exactly, especially when you're behind. Like you, you just need good meaty hits that you don't trade with. Another fair up smash. Uh, we got a potential four stock, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if Smokey can pull it off or if Manjaz can actually come back. Smokey's kind of just waiting for Manjaz to do something uh, unsafe or just like in neutral, just do anything. Yeah. And he's getting punished for it. That is just typical Fox play, though, right there. Uh, that SD is going to give Smokey Blunt a four stock, though. But that is technically how you're supposed to play Fox, and that's why Smokey's such a good player. He knows how to play Fox. Yeah. Being able to abuse Fox, and like there's like certain things that Falco has such trouble with, and uh, Smokey kind of just punished Manjaz for just whipping aerials out of full hops. Which, if you're whipping aerials out of full hops, Fox is gonna grab you every time. Oh yeah. So we got Dreamland going for game number two. Um, this could favor either Spacey right here. I. Uh, this matchup is just a lot of personal preference, uh, depending on like just the two different uh, the two play styles of the players. That so, makes a lot of sense. So if, if like the Falco likes space, this is just a fantastic stage. But if Fox likes space, it's good for him instead. Yeah, and I don't really know Man Jazz's uh, personal style because this is the first time I've seen him play. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he did SD there. So, all right, looks like uh, Smokey's going wild with the wave shines right now. Here come the chain grabs. You should really DI to a platform and not try and go to, to the top platform because it just it'll take way too long against Fox. Yeah. I mean, you're still going to get hit if you DI but to a platform, but it'll be a little bit harder for the Fox. Mm -hmm. yeah, he just, like, read the, <laughs> read the roll on the mystic. Oh, good shine to get out of the pressure, though, but he gets... Oh, he gets Sakurai'd, but he lives. Good going higher to avoid the back air, because that was pretty much coming. Down smash will take it, though, Smokey up two stocks at 90%. Oh, why didn't he grab the ledge? I don't know, a lot of people are just kind of scared to grab ledge. And uh, it really costs them there. Yeah, see, uh, my play style is if I can grab the ledge, I always go for it. And if they recover high, they recover high and I'll deal with it. Yeah. But that way, at least one option is always covered. And when I and usually when I can't grab the ledge, that's usually when I, I, I screw up and um, and they get back and then I'm kicking myself. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, fuck, man. I, I could have stopped them. But I didn't because I couldn't reach the ledge in time, usually because my wave dash was too short. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah, he kind of just got gimped three yeah. times in a row. Like, I'm like, yeah. a minute there. Yeah. Was unfortunate. That but. was a double four stock, man. That was disgusting. Oh, I guess you could say that Smokey smoked him. Whew. Yes, you're going to get the bad puns while you're on here. This is a guy who watches Chubb Oh, it's Conroy. me. Yes, you are wa you're playing now. I'm playing fish it again. Hey. Goodbye. All right, good luck. Oh, that hurt my ears a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry told me to um, and Baby Bird to uh, not to just take off the headphones gently with two hands instead of just pulling them off. And I see why, because that kind of hurt my ears there. Oh shoot, <laughs> that's not good, man. All right, so we got Baby Bird and Fish. We got two star players showing up right now in Winners Quarters. Man, we're already in Winners Quarters, and uh, I don't know how many people showed up today, but let's see if. I wonder if this laptop in front of me is actually going to work. It's not working at all, unless it's locked. It's not even mine, so I probably shouldn't even be touching it. 
Thanks, man. Yeah, we got a laptop now in front of our of our uh, commentary setup to um, give us stats. That you guys are important. We got JPO, last week's champion, sitting down. JPO, how you doing? Yourself too, Cam? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Nice. So, like, uh, Regex did actually pretty good against me uh, the first set, but I still dismantled him pretty good. How about you? Uh, pretty good. Um, I've played against two sets. Uh, played uh, Waz, who's from the Midwest. I think he's a Falcon. Uh, I played him last week. Uh, he's pretty solid. Nice. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Baby Bird versus Fishit. Fishit's going Dr. Mario. Very interesting. I think he did have a doc, but I mean, we've known him more for going uh, DK and sometimes Peach. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Fishit is a uh, jack of all trades when it comes to the mid tier characters, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. And that's a good thing to be do because uh, mid tiers are still pretty good in this game. Like,. And especially because of that uh, matchup and experience factor, that's what I think he's going for on some of them. Yeah, I remember actually, I talked to him. Oh, oh you hate God. to see that. Not like that. And you had over a 50% lead, too. Um. But the back here will take it. Okay, so it's even, but Baby Bird kind of gave himself a bit of a disadvantage. He could have been in a better position, but. Yeah, uh, you but you know, resets back to even, so... So it's not the worst thing, but yeah. still, you hate to see it happen. As my friend Ashura would say, you hate to see it happen, folks. Oh, oh uh, he went yeah. for the read right there. I really like that, but he was a little bit too far and did it a little bit too late. Fish it flubs the air dodge right there. We got our very own Mero um, pulling up the laptop, getting the laptop to work for us so we get our stats. Yeah, I really like that uh, dash attack fish it did right there where, oh, great roll in down smash. That might take the stock. Okay. You know, re smart recovers high because uh, Dog's side B is a spacey killer. He could just side B any recovery and they're pretty much dead. Yeah, uh, Fisher drops another edge guard. I'm pretty sure he had the read right there too. Yeah, another thing in this matchup, uh, Doc's cape, very good against Falco's lasers. It's a little bit tough because the lasers come out pretty fast and Doc is still prone for getting uh, laser locked, but if he can predict it coming out and um, and just side B, the, the Falco is in trouble. It's gonna, because when Falco gets power shield, oh shoot, what the hell was that? People are freaking out, I don't know. What happened? Oh, is that the Fortnite? Okay. Oh, it's Fortnite. Okay. Yeah, all right. Not melee related. Okay, forget about that, folks. I mean, we don't talk about Fortnite here. Okay. Um, so anyway, fish it down to his last stock. Um, yeah. Oh, oh. the dares. And Docks. that should do it. Yeah. Yeah, and fish it quits out, and game one going to Baby Bird. Um, I wonder if we're gonna see a character swap. Uh, I think that we was will. pretty convincing, and I think that Fish it was probably thinking he might have the upper hand on Fountain of Dreams too. But. Yeah, it's a decent Doc stage. Um, I think Doc does well. Well, I don't know because the best Doc I faced is Palika, and Palika when I play him, he plays a very campy play style because I obviously because I play Ice Climbers. Uh -huh. I guess everyone else he's not really like that, um, but. Oh, yeah, and we see the f switch to Peach. I think this is a wise move because Peach is just a much better character than Doc is. All right, uh, good laser right there to stop the turn up pickup. And we are running it back to Fountain for game number two. Um, and he gets blended for 37%. The F smash is going to miss, though. Ooh, very nice. Now, is this a best of five or a best of three? This is a best of three because um, if I remember correctly, winner's quarters here at um, Encore it's best of three, but loser's quarters is best of five. I okay. don't know why, but that's a thing. Top six? Okay. Oh, because it's top six. Okay, so that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, uh, so up throw Nair. Could close out the stock. He All has right. to get the edge guard, though. The turbo and missed, but the back air won't. I think um, one of Fish's weakest points the past couple sets have been his edge guards, so I'd like to see him clean those up a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Like, um, I mean, he did do get that back air, but he didn't really do much as Doc. He just stood mostly on stage. He needs to go out a little bit more, and Peach can definitely do that. Yeah, great pressure right there. 
Very nice. The get up attack is going to get him off, though. Yeah, crouch cancel wasn't good enough on the small platform. Good shine grab, though, and that deer will take it. No. Oh, oh, great tech. Very good tech, because that yeah. would have been trouble if that hit. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should be dead. Oh no, doesn't very grab ledge. Very smart going for the Firebird, but uh, unfortunately Fitcher is ready with the retaliation. Great spacing right there on Falco's down here. He does go for a Shine Grab because I, I think he expected him to shield, but um, he uh, it did shield poke right there. It's still alright because that is kind of a read. Hit back air. Peach is going to have to up to get back. Yeah, uh, he's oh. going for ledge. He makes it, but rolls on stage and yes. finds himself shining. Peach is known for having a very tricky recovery. You think that she's helpless after that. You think she's an easy target, but you find that like 75% of the time you still won't be able to hit her because she has a lot of control in the air. Oh, oh. that's a good call out. That is, and we got a beam sword. Chuck's at him. Use the force fish oh. it. <sighs> Just can't steal these edge guards. All right, and they're both playing footsies right now in neutral. Down 122 down. on both characters. Oh, this is literally getting oh, laser percent, down the we'll take down tilt. And now we got Darth Baby Bird. <laughs> Whoever imagined that Falco could be a Jedi or Sith Lord? Take your pick. I feel like Falco's a Sith, I'm not going to lie. I think so, too. His cocky attitude just speaks volumes. Yeah. Oh, good grab. Oh, that could be it. No. Nope. Good double side beat, though. Oh, I like the dares, but unfortunately, um, he does get it, the last one does miss. Ooh, oh. that could have been bad. I think he shortened that one. I think that was the mid short. I think that's like a one frame window. Oh, no back air. No back air to finish it. Now it's Fisher getting it off the ledge. This is a very tough spot for Peach. Yes, yeah, sitting at the ledge with 118%. That down tilt is going to do it. Baby Bird advances, and Fisher is knocked in the losers. Yeah. See, who am I playing? Oh, I'm playing Koopa Kev. And I'm playing right now. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I'll see you around. All right, good luck. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, you? Doing okay. Doing okay. All right, so we got Fox versus Ice Climbers coming up. It's a pretty exciting matchup. I think historically this has kind of gone back and forth. Yeah, the last time I watched them, uh, it was he kind of uh, Kubikev SD like once or twice game two, almost made a three stock comeback and then lost, unfortunately. Uh, but that was the last time I saw him play. It was okay. like two or three weeks ago. Yeah, I think like the past three sets or four sets they've just traded. Mm -hmm. All right, found start. Uh, I feel like this is actually pretty good for Fox. The the platforms kind of mess up Ice Climbers a bit more than people expect. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think this stage is just super good for spaces in general because the platforms allow for really unique pressure that most people aren't used to or ready to get out of. Yeah. Uh, Kevin starts the game taking a, uh, a Sopo kill with barely any percent, so that's yeah. uh, very quick, big. Very quick Nana kill. So, like, once you get rid of Nana, so much. Oh well. Oh, there's an SD. That, that's very unfortunate. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. Um. Surprised he's making such good use of the platform still. Like, it's almost like he's playing as if it is Battlefield, where he's yeah. just hopping off the side platforms back and forth. Yeah, because I know a lot of a lot of spaces players do have trouble with it, where it's like, you know, it messes up with their timings or whatever, for like wave landing and whatnot, so they kind of don't really trust themselves on the platforms. But Kev's doing a really good job on them. Yeah. That down throw was super interesting because it would have popped him up onto the platform, but it got interrupted before it could. Oh, okay, that's neat. Oh, Nana with the SDI. <laughs> I probably just misspaced the up air. You really need to get this kill without Nana dying. Yeah. Good reset. Yeah, okay. This is a classic. It's like, 
uh, grab smash tag thing. Wow. Oh, wow. I wonder if the side B was on purpose or not. Because it was a really odd timing, or yeah. odd place to do it. Uh, one thing to note there was like Nana was at like super death percent, so mm -hmm. he might have thought that Koopa Kev was going to swap off and like up smash Nana or something real quick. Yeah. And he wanted to get her out of there. That makes sense. Oh, there's Nana dead again. Something I noticed with Toucan a lot is that he doesn't really go for reaction tech chases with his back throws and stuff with Soko. He oh, just yeah. goes for a read and try and covers one option. Yeah, definitely goes for the hard read with down smash. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can react yeah, you with can. wave dash down smash on all options, right? It is kind of difficult, I think, but I would imagine it's, it's something that's pretty hard. You know, worth practicing. Good DI to snap to the ledge. Mm -hmm. Not much to say, it's kind of just... It's kind of just running over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aerial's on shield, shining, shield poking. He's, he's a much braver, braver man than I. <laughs> I, don't, I feel like this way is uh, pretty effective to fight against Ice Climbers, especially I've noticed that um, lately when I've been playing Ice Climbers, they keep like hard reading and trying to cover me jumping to platform, mm -hmm. and then if you just jump at them instead, yeah. it's like they're in a horrible position. It just can be a little spooky, because if you're not on point and you yeah. try hitting their shield, it's just... You're just gonna get grabbed a bunch of times and lose, but yeah, like his pressure is definitely... Like, just his tech and whatever is on point, so... He can do. He can kind of just run him over. Because uh, I saw a couple like attempted shield guys in Toucan, but they just led to either him or Nana dying, like by the ledge. <laughs> Dreaded flat stage, though. <laughs> yeah, it's still got some platforms to work with. Mm -hmm. Definitely the pick, though, over uh, or like definitely smart to ban FD. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I can't believe you got a up throw up air yeah. against Ices. That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, Toucan could have played better around that. <laughs> he uh, went to like interrupt uh, Koopa Kev's combo and then just ended up jumping into his up air. Yeah. And first wobble of the set, I think. Yeah, definitely. Like, I think first grab by mm -hmm. Toucan. Well, he had well, one. Well, he's gotten like some Sopo grabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First spooky grab. Yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> I mean, that was just great because he was invincible. So he abused the heck out of it. Just got a free kill on Nana. Yep. Nice. No need to go for the shine. I would assume they're going to wait it out, but who knows. I mean, it looks like Kev's going in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's not waiting. Oh, that should be... Oh, oh, oh no, he grabs into the jabs. Yeah. I guess he wasn't expecting the knockdown. It does so much percent, though. Yeah, right? it's kind of huge. And that was the second up tilt he got hit by. Yeah. But now Kevin's kind of just getting zoned here. Backs off, realizes, I can't really approach Ice Climbers from this angle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. that's wow. so scary. Both of those, that was like two really big mess ups <laughs> yeah. on shield. And Super bad Nair and then double lasers <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> oh, Phantom. Oh, Phantom on the tail. Kev's kind of getting a little lucky here. I don't know, Phantom Shield pokes. The, yeah, that's. I guess it's pretty common. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like, if you get Shield Poke Phantom, it's kind of like, well, I didn't really deserve it. That's <laughs> how I see it. Oh, that was a nice read. A yeah. Hop. Saves Nana, but Kevin has an opportunity. Again, he goes for a hit when he's invincible. He gets like, punished kind of hard for it. Yeah. And then standing laser into <laughs> Lux Smash nothing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that'll happen. I, like once you you mess up one tech against yeah. ice climbers, you just like oh crap. Like, you just like mess up more and more and more and more. Yeah. Oh, he's really got to kill this Nana. Yeah, I was gonna say that was really weird. I Nana? don't think he should really be electing for up throw in these situations. Like Nana's at such a high percent that like just bear wait bear again would easily kill her. Yeah. Especially after the first Ooh. or after the second bear, she's going to be in tumble with no jump. Mm -hmm. So not even. Um, so pose up B can save yeah. her at that point. Oh no. Oh, that's rough. Hey, well, 
He caught he caught Kev's jump the second to last stock, and he just died, and then just a quick SD yeah. makes it even. That's a good way to take momentum away from the other person, <laughs> force them to die super early. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Kevin's got to pull it back if he wants to win. Interesting stage choice. Um, I think so. Battlefield has the highest yeah. top platform, which means like ice climbers to cover it have to like expose themselves super hard. Yeah, the way he's been playing, it's it's been more so like side plats and yeah, that's true. running in and not not really like picking his spots with shine. Ooh, oh. Yeah. I guess if you're playing off side <laughs> platforms then Dreamland might be better for that. Yeah, because they're a little bit higher. Um, yeah. But on this stage you do have the advantage of being closer to the ledge, which I think yeah. when you're looking to get kills off shine, that's a very big deal. Then you don't have to do the jump cancel shine wave shines. Yeah, that's right. That blizzard actually helped him out. That was weird. It looks like only Nana waved that Shadow Shield and, and Poe was staying in place. Mm. Some weird. Maybe something like caused a desync. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and two campics on the murder face. Yeah. Getting dash He's attack ready. is the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> Because you just have to like wait there in the in the sky, knowing you're gonna get grabbed in like two <laughs> seconds. Yeah, I think if you di it right, you can jump out or shine out, but yeah, it's um, it's like it's kind of hard because I don't know, expecting a dash deck in neutral is a little weird. Cause it's yeah. not it's not something that normally happens. I feel like that's definitely true. Oh, 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 oh no! Yeah. <laughs> That's the hard part about the matchup. Then you feel like after you miss, after, when you don't capitalize on a Nana kill, I just feel terrible. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Toucan kind of giving him one, though. Ooh. Nice single hit. Oh, no. Oh, that could that's be so it. big. Oh, wow, that's a that great, great save. save. Yeah. I, you know, I like the side B. I do too. That's big. That was he's that, in the lead. Yeah, that that's actually so huge. He was losing pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, like it was looking rough, no crouch cancel percent. But now he's I mean he just has to not get down smashed and he's mm -hmm. fine. And uh Oh Oh, no. oh the missed wave that's a shield. Yeah, he, see he keeps covering Yeah by the, the ledge. ledge. He wants to kill him quick, but yeah. I mean Kevin's teching in right there. He's probably holding out. The down yeah. smash would probably send him flying. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. oh, yeah. yeah on That's hard. Side. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a wobble. All right. I'm surprised he had enough time, but I guess Fox was at like 80% or something, so it <laughs> might be impossible to match out. Yeah, and uh, I believe you can start jabbing with Nick. Oh, as she's like pulling as back. she's pulling back. Oh, okay. Kevin can get a kill on Nana. She has a jump, I think. Yeah, she does. Oh, oh yeah. but it doesn't matter. Hey, Toucan's going to have to do some, some crazy stuff. Yeah, 20%. That's a... Oh, 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 oh I, I expected him to do ice block. Was I'm surprised it? he didn't. Like, just like the back throw ice block. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? It's like Supreme Cheese type <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but it's last stock of the set. They're probably going to jump at a hit stun, stuff like yeah. that. So, yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. That was a good set. Yeah, definitely a nail biter. <laughs> More up tilt wobbles, Wallace says. Yeah. That's fair. I don't think Toucan's really a big proponent of up tilt. I think up tilt is cheese. Oh yeah. It's like, I don't know. You can you can kinda SCI out of it on reaction, I feel you like. You can SCI so down many. and shine them for yeah, it. Yeah, you can. I'm a fan of just SCIing up and just smashing up B. Oh, okay. Because I'd rather get hit than grab. Yeah. So I'll take whatever straight hit they want to do. I'm, I am normally holding down in that situation anyway, so mm -hmm. I just try to go down yeah. and shine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Scrub and Smoky Blunts. I didn't even realize they were seated to play. That was pretty hype. Um, 
Scrub, I think he is um, a little rusty, but I know he's taken sets off Smokey in the past. Oh, has he? Yes. They used to, like, be pretty competitive. So you definitely can't sleep on him. I actually want to play Smokey so bad. I've never played him before. Oh, really? Yeah. Smokey's fun to play against. I've heard. <laughs> well, if you've heard about it from Ben, I'm sure it's the opposite. <laughs> But things are different when you're a spacey and when yeah, you're a are. chic. But I hate the Fox matchup, so. Oh, okay. I also have my, my grievances with it. Just full hop spamming nares and dares. and. Yeah. You know, when you laser a lot, yeah, foxes like to jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have it coming. Would have won if he up tilted more. Um, you might be right. The thing is, he only up tilted once, so twice. In well, the same like time. The same, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There was only like one situation where he up tilted, so, and he could have got a wobble off of it mm -hmm. if he reacted quick enough or like noticed percent. That so, game was like a three stock though, so it yeah, so matter. it wouldn't have mattered. But Yo. <laughs> game two is the worst thing I've ever seen. Game two is a. Uh, <laughs> But you cleaned it up. I was a little scared game three, but you, you came together, you know. <laughs> it was definitely spooky, though. Dude, it's so weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, if, if you accidentally full hop ever, and then you do the high aerial, it's just, just begging to get a shield prep. Oh, Smokey's starting off. I expected off. just a straight up kill. Yeah. I'm kind of curious how Smokey plays this matchup. I know he was telling me he felt like he had a good handle on it now. That's good. I know so many foxes who hate it. Yeah? Like, just straight up hate it. Like, uh, I don't know. They just, they just kind of feel like whatever they do just loses. Which I don't understand because that's how I feel. But. Oh, oh no. no. Yeah, it's definitely a weird matchup. Um, I think um, movements, like, kind of, like, hitboxes are weird in this matchup. You're really, on Fox's end, you're really more looking for, like, movement and getting hit. Yeah. You know, not necessarily putting a good hit out at a certain time. Yeah, no, definitely. It's really just trying to get in on Falco. But also, it's, like, a lot of, I don't know, it's just style dependent. Yeah, that's Because some styles different. just crush other styles, and it doesn't matter what characters. Yeah, uh, big Randall save right there. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Dash attack back air will seal it. Simple stuff. Um, dash attack, uh, dash attack falls are so good. <laughs> and like for both these characters, holy moly. Yeah. But the worst is when you get dependent on dash attack yeah. and then they just like uh, double stick DI down. Very tilting. <laughs> this is a very odd stage to start on in my opinion. Yeah, normally Falcos are not like, I feel like this is historically a good Fox stage. Yes. But, like, I'm a hater of Yoshi's. I think. I don't know, just Fox's full hop. It covers I, so much space. I think both Yoshi's and Fountain are like pretty solid for Fox in this matchup. Mm -hmm. I do like FD, but that's just the personal thing. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Uh, he's doing some risky stuff on the ledge in between stocks. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's going to get punished for it later. Nice crowd cancel. Yeah, that was good. He respected that legend dash so much. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. Like, he, he, oh, Phantom. He put out a full up smash and it went completely unpunished. Yeah. But, I mean, Scrub was kind of across the stage, so it's not like he could do much. Oh, no. <laughs> Smoke is flailing and it's working. The runoff double jump back on lasers are like the scariest <laughs> slash worst thing you can do in the world. You, just, you actually yeah. just get jabbed and die. And it's like, oh, cool. <laughs> no jump. No nothing. But Smokey was like a decent distance yeah, away. But um, it's always scary against Fox, especially on Yoshi's because it's small enough to where it, always, it feels like you can, you can close the gap yeah. pretty quick. Yeah, that's fair. Let's see. 
Well, it reads the double jump. That would have been a very good combo. Or it goes for the read on the double jump. Mm. Again, another ledge dash up smash. Just going on punish. Like, he's outside. He's like, it's kind of. He's, it looks like he's close enough to punish it, but just not. I feel like um, Smokey's like really respecting uh, a lot of what he does with shield, like in the corner right mm -hmm. there. So I'd love to see some like grabs or tomahawk grabs yeah. come out. I feel like that would be very big. Scrubs won neutral like four times in a row using crouch cancel. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Uh, a lot of back airs and nares from Smokey, not mm -hmm. a lot of drills. Yeah. He's which find is, his way in. Which kind of leads to the thing you were saying before with shield, and it's because drills just, it's terrible on shield, so. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's just like respecting shield so much that he doesn't want to do it. Very kind of clunky play in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Ends just, up with a F smash. He just watched Smokey roll on a on the ledge. I mean, on a platform, did nothing. Yeah. Oh, those double ledges were very okay. Mm. Good di out on the soft nair though. That's yeah. big. Because if he didn't do that, he probably he probably would have died. Yeah. Or at least got knocked off stage. Yeah. Like, Again, he d he keeps doing like the runoff double laser to switch. I don't know. I want to see Smokey punish it because he's doing it kind of close to when he's doing it when Smokey's like kind of close to the corner anyway. Yeah, he's kind of like right when he's hovering the end of the side plat. Yeah. Yeah. So he, Smokey definitely could dash in shine or dash in jab. Oh, that's big. He can just like good tech. Yeah, I guess he doesn't want to just drop down down air. Yeah, the down air is like very techable in that position. Mm -hmm. Okay, one one. Uh, another game three. Three one. Is it interesting seeing Smokey? Go to Yoshi's game one and win, <laughs> and then go to Dreamland game three. Yeah, they're kind of contradictory picks, but they did just play on the only other similar one, Fountain, right? Yeah, sure. And he lost pretty bad, so. But I feel like this is considered a solid Falco stage. Yeah, I think too. I think it is too, because it just lets him run away and do lasers. But Scrub really isn't doing that, so yeah, that's I can true. see He's why he's going it. Oh, was that a ledge dash back air or just a uh, get on? I missed it. Okay, yeah. Okay, I played Smokey last tournament for three sets. Yeah. And he is a big proponent of using side B. I think if you're Falco, it's a good idea. But Foxes, I don't know. It's like crouch cancelable. You can you can react to it. I don't know. I don't. I don't necessarily agree with it being a great idea. I like it in certain situations. That was amazing. Yeah, you knew was. that Smokey was going for that like uh, angle, like above ledge angle. Yeah, yeah, just barely called him out in F smash. No, I think it's good when you like uh, ASDI down and then like slide off the stage and you yeah, instantly yeah, want to right. side B because there's a lot going on in those situations. But he did like side B like just above the ledge. Yeah. So. They cover like every option. <laughs> yeah. I'm expecting to see, or what I want to see kind of is just Smokey do some silly corner stuff. Like I would have expected a back throw there, but I don't know. Yeah. Just took the 50-50 on the platform instead. Great grab. Oh yeah. yeah. One thing about Falco is like you gotta really be careful dash dance grabbing. Him yeah, because. if you mess up, it takes so much. Yeah. He keeps doing these lasers, and like uh, he'll laser him to ledge height, and then jab, 
when he should really be down smashing. Mm, I can see that. Because the jab is way too high to, li to hit the side B most of the time. Yeah, and he, like, you can STI the jab really well, mm -hmm. too. Nice. Oh, good read. <laughs> okay, scrubbing the lead. Wow. Okay, not get a kill, Didn't though. Didn't kill, though. Yeah. Those are good lasers. He's yeah, throwing just... out a lot of full hops now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I think that's, hey, that's even, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's super scary for both of them. Yeah. And basically, like, one or two things will lead to a kill. Interesting up smash. Oh no, he missed the crouch cancel shine. This oh, is, this is this big. Could be it. Oh, side B. Wow. Good yeah, nice short. Yeah. Oh no. And he's coming out with a big combo. Yeah. Oh, oh, he got the. I would have down tilted 100 days out of 100 there. Oh, oh. And he, oh my god. He could have went off stage for Yeah, like, that one was free. Yeah. But I mean, it's scary. Game three. Oh, he has a jump, right? Yeah. Okay, good nice. ledge. That roll with shield super poke. clutch. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice. it calls him out. Nail biter. Holy moly. That yeah. was good. <laughs> Definitely a good set. So, you get your wish. I think you're playing Smokey now. Sick. Oh, now it's your turn. Oh, okay. I guess we're starting out with me. All right. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> I've switched headsets, so I'm now on the inside. Kuba Kevers, JPO, Fox Zetos. We got an all spaces winner semis. Gonna be exciting matches. I wish that there were less spaces today, but I didn't get my wish. Unfortunately. Oh. Hello. How have you been? That's good. What? Nah, not, oh, I don't think so. It looks like they're hand warming. I wanna. You know, I'm just not gonna mess with it. I was gonna plug in my phone, but I'm just not gonna mess with the uh, the important stuff under the table. Yeah, just follow this. Oh, you know, I just didn't wanna unplug it. I didn't wanna mess with anything. Oh. Unplug everything and ruin Sounds it. like a Falco. Ruin the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got chat, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, game one. Uh, Kuba Kev. <laughs> yeah, hand warmer. All right, JPO Kuba Kev. Going to Battlefield Classic. El Classico. My re memory serves. I'm trying to think of what colors each of them were. Oh, well, I'm assuming it's uh, accurate to the ports. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So Kevin usually blue. does. Yeah. Nothing too huge has happened yet. They're kind of nah. just scrapping blows. Yeah, they're feeling each other out pretty much. Oh, he could have got the up smash reaction on that. Yeah. That was but. weird up smash on wake up from from JPO, but. Oh, good edge steal. Used to be the ramen noodles. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't heard that in a minute. Hagen Dazs. Hagen Dazs, too. Ooh. That kind of sucks. You got two tournament winners in a row there. Let's hope it doesn't cost him here. Oh, that was a really good SDI on that. All right, but good cleanup. Mm -hmm. 
surprised he reacted to the single hit, even though he didn't get it, but... Mm -hmm. The way they're playing, I feel like whichever one ends up... Oh, that was really good. Yeah, it was. Which end, whichever one of them ends up being a little more patient will hold it out in the set. Yeah, they're both definitely patient players from my experience. That's everyone here, so... Yeah. Tricky thing... Oh, my. All right. They answer back. But yeah, this has been like a kind of very slow matchup. Yeah. But nothing, nothing too it's big has happened. Pretty back and forth. They both answered each other's punishes pretty well. Actually, every set. <laughs> but again, got one hit to mess up on shield. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, he missed dash back, which is weird. No, he went for the bear, oddly enough. I think he was trying to just cover with an aerial, but... Yeah, it's like they <laughs> kind of want to react, but they're not in it. Yeah. So they're throwing an option as their reaction that isn't actually working like that. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them really like going for this shine aerial approach. Yeah. It's it's good oh. to be crowd cancel, but I don't know. It, yeah. It'd be nice for them. Like, like that, like system just run up grabs. <laughs> it's really good covering for an overshoot for a dash back, mm -hmm. but I feel like once one of them realizes it first, they'll outspace it and just hard punish it. Yeah. Oh, and run back. I feel like the whole set will be on the stage, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I hate battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Yeah. It's just like I don't know. Everyone practices on it, so everyone's really good on it. Well, yeah, and then it's like less. Um, randomized stage and more pure skill based. Well, huh. if you believe in the whole battlefield is the most even stage thing. I think it's technically Spacey's worst stage just because of the ledges, but it's like, really? yeah, it's, it's just not a huge deal though. Because you just lose some recovery options. I always said there were stages FD, but then it depends on like if you're comparing it to meta matchups or... Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, it looks like it was a good idea to go back. Yeah. Kind of whooping him game two. Joel definitely keeping his mind set up. Yeah. Mm. Nice. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> that extra tempo step. Oh, yeah, that's what I yeah. meant earlier. Oh, no, oh. he jumped into he it. He should still be good. Yeah, honestly, Joel could have just mirrored and then followed up. Yeah, it looked like he was going to try and grab ledge, but he then had he just like didn't turn around, so he had to react to it. Uh, right now, they're both trying to say that their shines are good enough to cover everything, which theoretically that works, but this isn't a theoretical game. So we keep going out for like... Like the full hop shine stuff? Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like, they're both trying to, like, right there. You didn't need a shine to hit yeah. that edge guard. Like, just do a safe coverage. But it's like JPO was never in, like, like right that. There. Yeah. <laughs> it's just they're in that mindset right now. Like, and even that shine. But I think it's kind of good just because you can do turn around. Like, you can turn around so you can get shine bare. But you don't even have to hit the shine. It's just a turn around yeah. sometimes. But I don't know. Koop Kip kind of goes out. It looks like he's going out for some sort of shine spikes in, like, the same area. But JPO's yeah. never there. All right, that was definitely more convincing than the last. So, I wonder what Kevin's going to do here. I don't know. Have you done the thing where you run back and then just use it for a mindset boost? Not really. I kind of I had like my my certain stages that I really like, so I'd rather just go there. So you just stick to the flowchart game plan. Yeah. All right. Well, we got Dreamland. Yeah, this definitely fits Kevin's style. <laughs> yes, it does. But, that was a good way plan. I don't know. The way Joel was opening up Kevin was using more space. So if he really thought about it, this might not work out too well. But it looks like uh, oh Ooh. nice that was sick. That was sick. Okay. <laughs> I see you, Joel. 
Yeah, it was like, I, I, he was feeling himself too yeah. much. He knows it. That's the classic. Do some sick edge guard and just die off of your invincibility. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was. I love Crouch Cancel Get Up Attack. So good. Yeah. Oh, good coverage with the back airs. All right, covering high. Hmm. See, if you're gonna give him the edge, you gotta respect the ledge dash option afterwards. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, that was nice. Oh. That angle is so hard to hit, even if you're ready for it. Yeah, I, you kind of just have to... Like I, mean, I prefer just rolling. It's and really like, but that's kind of a hard read. And a lot more committal. <laughs> yeah, and then you like lose the coverage up top after that. Yeah. But sometimes it's Ooh. usually safer. Really? Oh. Okay. I don't know, it doesn't really feel like Kevin has like a solid grasp on like countermeasures yet. Damn. He's got three up snatches. Oh, that oh. down tilt was like perfect spacing, but unfortunately it led to nothing. Oh, I thought he was going for edge. Huh. Damn, this game is again, yeah. once again, in. Joel's favorite this so is pretty hard. much what I was saying, how like the way Joel opened him up was using more space. I feel like against Foxes, if you miss a tech, like as a spacey, you can't get up in place because they're like ready for up smash 100% of the time. Oh, yeah. And you get up smash once, you're going to get up smash like three Especially times. Especially in the sense. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, know. he kind of needed to go for the short one, but uh, I he mean, got the wrong one. The F tilt, it's kind of hard to like, Even if he did the full and hit the F tilt, I think he still had a chance. But it's just kind of hard to tech. Yeah. And uh, he was at high enough percent where he would have gotten knocked away pretty far. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he could have ran off shine. Wow. Turn around, but he still covered it. That was a really ballsy, just float to ledge by Kev. Yeah. He, he got punished <laughs> for it. Like JPO was just on ledge. He could react. He just reacted. So I think this is the best, the first uh, best of five on yes. today, right? It's yeah. Winners, the semis, semis, and then quarters are best of like Losers and then quarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, after yeah. That. All right. I wonder if one of them's gonna do FD though. Probably. Not. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. They're, they both seem like pretty heavily abusing platforms for their neutral. Yeah. So. So this is interesting seeing. Because who won the last game, actually? Uh, oh, JPO. JPO yeah. again. So, all right. So Kevin realized that, yeah, the space wasn't good. Oh, oh. counter shine. All right. That was a really good angle. And the fastball. Yeah, because he, he wouldn't have gotten it otherwise. Oh. He wanted to do shine turn around to leave dash to grab the ledge. But, oh. And then up smash out of shield. <laughs> yeah. Also, if you didn't notice, Kevin changed his color. He did. He's now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Joel, stop. Hey. You could just do a PC drop, <laughs> please. Up smash? Oh. He just missed it up there, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it was too high of a percent to do up smash there. Yeah. Or like after the grab, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Those were the slowest pummels. <laughs> Alright, that should be death. No, he again, like just missed a dash back or something. Yeah. Weak. Hit, grab the edge. Oh, Randall. Hey, <laughs> finally cleaned it up. All right, that was the first dock. A minute and a half on Yoshi's. That's actually. Yeah, like this whole set, they've kind of. There hasn't really been any big zero to death combo type stuff. Yeah. It's just been like a couple. They both like need a few neutral openings. openings to win. Yeah. Oh. I think Joel's had a little more solid punishes, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's getting a lot of up smash stuff. Like, and he's winning the scrambles a lot oh. more. Oh, that sucks. The get up attack is like. Definitely annoying to shield grab because you have to wait for the whole animation to be done. Yeah. Like Kevin had, I think, a good 30% there, but Joel had a good shine to break out of it. Oh no. See, he was hesitant. I, there, you probably just want to just cover one option and commit to that. You try to do both, then you're not really going to get it. The F tilt finally working for once. <laughs> oh, that's huge. This is a big mess okay. with Mike Kevin. All right, even game four. Oh, all right, played it safe. That's a good 70. All right, 
be pretty even trades. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's the way he wanted to send him at all. <laughs> oh, that should be. I was thinking up smash, but maybe that would. Oh, oh that hey, that shine was kind of kind of silly. That's yeah. crazy. So it's a little easier to hit that if you're going under the up beat. Yeah. But even still, like he timed it right when it was going off. Oh. Yeah, it's, you really need to hit that tech. It's hard, but. It looks like he kind of buffered get up attack there. Yeah. Which is always the worst. It's like these slight DIs on these options that they're missing their like follow up options from Yeah. Up. All right. Game five. I wonder where Joel's gonna go. Um. I would think Pokemon. Yeah, I was gonna say Pokemon but. just because it's. He's been doing. He's been doing better on the longer stages. Ah. So. Hey, well. <laughs> One of them did it. Yes. Well, I mean, it makes sense for him to go here because, again, we're saying his like his punishes were a lot simpler, but a See, lot. See, that's the thing about this stage; it kind of shuts out the neutral options. Yeah. So it gives Kevin a better opportunity to get an easier punish mm -hmm. if he's able to actually hit it. Yeah, that's right. Now, oh, yeah, well, Joel has chain grabs. Chain grabs on deck. Wave dash up tilt. No. Oh. All right. Well, that worked too. It's, flow, it's not a flow chart. Yeah, I would expect a ledge too. Oh my See, god. The really good thing for Joel here is that he was winning more of the neutral interactions in the set. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, he was. You don't need as many openings, but if you are more confident you will get the first opening, then you have a solid chance of winning it. Mm -hmm. uh, that check was Ooh, so risky. So risky. Surprised Joel didn't get a shine out there. Oh, I was thinking straight up. Yeah, I was thinking that too. <laughs> Just runs open. Oh, that was See, close. Like, Joel's trying to shine though. I mean, I it's think it's cool. It's really good if it works, but it's so risky. There's the up tilt. Okay. But it's also so. Uh, it's such such a good reward in the shine. Yeah. Or an up smash, you might get like a little bit more, a little bit of percent, but the shine would just kill straight up. Yeah. Well, you could like weak hit aerial and just have them below the stage and then just solid back air from there. But all right, dash attack on bad DI. That's kind of a DI mix up though, because mm -hmm. if you're dash attacking from both sides. Yeah. I uh, once you hit by one dash attack, at those percents, it just you just keep getting dash attack until up smash. <laughs> oh. He keeps like. He keeps letting uh, Kevin tech. See, the thing is, he's trying to react, but he's not responding to the no tech. Yeah. Which, that's really nice. the hard part to get at first. Mm -hmm. And that was really good up tilt. Didn't really see Joel doing too much of those. It's one of those uh, monkey see, monkey do things. <laughs> yeah. Learning as you play type stuff. Yeah, copying your opponent if you're in a ditto. Oh, up that tilt. I like that chase. Well. Chain grab. Okay. That was almost certainly supposed to be a short hop, because <laughs> he's doing so much of like the approaching short hop in air, but feedbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sucks. He died off of it too. Yeah. Damn. All right. You know, I wasn't expecting it to be this close. Yeah. Especially after the second game, but good stuff to Kevin, and definitely having the lead here. No, mm -hmm. oh, that sucks. Uh, it's so tricky in those moments, too. You, it's like just the edge where you don't know. Nice. Dead? Yeah, he's Should dead. be dead? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's real. Oh! oh yeah, well. <laughs> he was Joel's he got like, very lucky. <laughs> Joel's like, oh, shit, that could have been bad. Yeah. Oh, he got the grab he off invincibility. Grab. <sighs> Kevin rushed it a little bit, but... Kevin keeps no tech, like missing tech, or just no teching on purpose. Yeah. And getting out of all these... It's a really bad situation, yeah. Oh, bear. Oh, he's elite. Oh. Kevin's shines after his misses are really saving him right now. Hey, that should be, that should be it. Damn, that well, sucks. Was not expecting that. Oh, right, well, good luck. Thank you. All right, congratulations, Koopa Kev. Game five against JPO.
pretty sure he's really high in the brackets for the um hey what's up for the defendant no? <laughs> Alright, joining me on the mic, two can. What's up everyone? Hey, that was a close game I saw. Yeah, we went to game five. Um it was kinda interesting because like Joel really had the momentum most of the like beginning of the set. And then it kinda just they never really grabbed a solid footing. Mm, interesting. But we have Baby Bird and Smokey Blunts coming up right now. Alright, Smokey just coming off a win off of Scrub, another Falco as well, so. Let's see if he can take it off of Baby Bird. Baby Bird's on a, been on a hot streak though lately. Yeah, I mean, this will be interesting. It'll be pretty close and it'll be a best of five, so. Mm, so we should. Mm. Alright, I will hope we go to Battlefield first, but I doubt it because Baby Bird was saying he actually doesn't really like it. Interesting. Which um, I found weird for a Falco of all things, but... Yeah, because that, that's a good stage for Falco. It really is. You just get one full hop to get to the top platform. But if not, then it really depends on if Smokey wants a smaller stage or if we end up doing Dreamland. Yeah, we will see it. Well, right now, Smokey's still selecting his music for the battle. <laughs> so. I mean, it's all the, all the little things count, right? Yeah. You do music when you play? Oh, yes. Every time. Do you have, like, um, what do you call it? Any um, okay. songs for specific times or anything like that? Um, well, for Puff, I always go a slower song. I think that's a better way to put it. So you think matchup-based? Kind of. And it's more position-based in tournament if, if I'm going up against someone really good or if it's late in bracket mm. I'll s like like late in bracket once we start getting the three out of five i go to um hard rock or heavy metal well i'm not sure if i call it heavy metal because um it's like rock remixes of classic video game songs from uh this guy called game tower oh, okay, god metal okay. as i call him so fd actually this uh, is really interesting it oh. is very interesting because i believe um I think both characters can chain grab. Well, I know Fox can chain grab. It. Well, Fox can chain grab, but Falco has um, advantage in neutral because Fox has a harder time getting around the lasers. Yeah. Which Baby Bird that. is a heavy laser Falco. Oh yes. Very nice though from Smokey. That small combo brought gives him the stock. Fair giving the little extra DI trap. But Baby Bird's starting to run it back a bit. Right. Very nice. All right, really good lasers. Takes his jump. Should be dead. Yep. Yes, very nice. It stopped the momentum. So we have All a right. dead even game. All right, gets out of the invincibility. And then, yeah, there we go, neutral. Yeah, this is showing why uh, Falco is good on the stage in terms of neutral. So it's Ball really point. dependent on how well Smokey will get around his lasers and punish him for his attempts. Yeah, I've seen him full hop a little bit. I think that's going to be the key to him getting over these lasers because Fox's full hop is really so good. So it's really good against Falco. Like, there's a number of things he can do, but it's what he chooses and then if Baby Bird's able to adapt to it. Uh, that was oh. a really good try for... Oh, oh the suicide! That was actually right. pretty smart. Right. I'll, I, I think that was actually a good move because I, otherwise... I can respect that. Yeah. And there was no tech on Smokey's part, too, because he could have tech that, but I don't think he was expecting that. No, I you generally wouldn't. I wouldn't. Although, I probably would have dared if I was Falco, but the bear works still. Yeah, I don't think he thought that the dare would have worked, so he went for the bear. I think the bear is the safer option. Yeah, no, of course. Ooh, another That's really good laser. Oh, good tech, though. Super good tech with a side B that you have to hit, like, Really well timed to get the edge there. Oh, that's a. So that. Oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> oh, no. shoot. All oh, right, he's smoky. gonna be. All right, if he loses this, he's really gonna be feeling that really? SD. Yeah, he is, but he's got really good shine pressure. But all right, here comes a combo from Baby yes. Bird. Yeah. Nice waiting in the neutral yeah. getup. Yeah. That I'm might there. be it. Good oh. tech again. Forward smash? No. <gasps> oh, no. Right, right, that's right. it. 
That oh, was so he unnecessary. Went for it all, okay. and he got a pie in the face. I know Smokey is loving that right now. I know. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of spaghetti going on right now from both players. All right, so Fountain is a counter pick from Baby Bird. Yeah, okay, he's, that's interesting. He's smiling, though. I like that he's smiling it off. Because that's a hard loss right See, there. This that's is the thing I wasn't sure about this stage. Because like just how he messed up his laser there, it's harder for Falco, Falco to maneuver around the platform. Yeah, this is considered to be one of Falco's worst stages. So it's interesting but, that he would go here. But um, Yeah, I mean, it's definitely harder. To, ooh, that was a really good jab. It's yeah, harder to kill yeah. off the top for Fox. But eh, I don't know. It's harder to maneuver, so. We'll yeah, but Falco is worse than the neutral here, so it's very strange. Oh my god. Oh, that was supposed to be an up smash, I would think. Yeah, I, that might have been a misclick. Because you go C stick, C stick, and if you miss the C stick, you go over B. It's kind of rare to see, but yeah. it happens. And that's why I don't play spaces, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he gets clipped. That was an interesting fair. If that hit, he would have that slide off the platform. Yeah, it's dead. Another yeah. dead bird. All right, so four to two. This is what I, yeah, I don't know a baby bird's idea on this stage. I mean, I'm sure he has a plan, but. Unfortunately, that plan is not working. I mean, whatever you do is. still have another game, but I'm not count, counting him out yet. I'm not either, because he did really good last game, but um, it's not working out this time. I, I think it's the stage. All right, but he finally yeah. gets on the board, though, with that back air. Oh, good reset. All right. Uh, okay. All right, a little shaky neutral. See, right now the platforms are down, so this is where he's getting his openings. But mm. and he's at the edge. This is a tough spot. Catches the roll in with the up smash. Uh, doesn't quite do it. Yeah. Right there, you really just want to hold neutral ground when Falco tries to recover. All right. So, um, Smokey close to a three stock. Oh, he messed up. The accidentally back turned around and shine. That was supposed to be just a rising there. Yeah. Yeah, this is not working out for um, Baby right. Bird. Yeah, CC, 18%. Good punish. Right. But it's He's still not out of it, but he's really the percent is tacking on now. He's at 77. I think I think this one's a wash. Ooh, Shine Clank. Yeah. Oh, oh goes to the read, but yeah. he was too far. Dash tag? Okay. Oh, he goes for the dare and he does not connect. Hmm. The bird's kind of fishing some of these punches. Oh, no, another no, SD. That's just unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can't really blame yourself for that. Analysis. Yeah, okay. We don't have a smile from Baby Bird, so he's like, okay, that didn't work. He's going I, I back. Think, he, oh, he's going. No, I think he said, oh, I thought he said Battlefield, but he's going to Dreamland. <laughs> right. I'm about to say. All right. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense. I agree. Much better Falco stage here. I was thinking Shine, let's dash to the top platform there, but he's going for the quick edge guard. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you kind of had to there because Smokey was going for the Shine anyway, and he yes. didn't have enough uh, height to jump. Yeah, it's a little bit of that panic too, because you know it's coming. That was a really good short. Good uh, spacing right there with the back air. Oh, there we go. Good down smash. Oh, the te the oh. double down smash. Very right. nice, baby bird. That angle is kind of weird, but we'll <laughs> take the it. shine. Oh, very nice. Bear. Uh -oh. oh, no bear or no dare either. All right, but it looks like baby bird's in control of this neutral right now. He's looking a lot better than last game. Right off the bat. Oh, that air dodge is going to cost him right there. That was a tech oh, flop. Oh, Baby Bird getting the slight DI so he can get the jump out in the mid-30s. Yeah. He got a little bit lucky there because um, Fox could have punched that very hard. Maybe not so on this stage, but it was still a punch nonetheless, and he has no jump. Okay, this is still very doable. All right. He reads uh, Fox going up, but Fox Fox goes low. Well. Yes, Smokey just really wants to get him out of crouch cancel percent here, even if he loses stock. Any damage is a bonus right now. Yeah, I think he is out of crouch cancel percent oh. right about now. Oh, this is not looking good. All right, waited for the roll, but Baby Bird didn't bite. 
held his ground pretty well and took over stage afterwards. Definitely want to see a little bit more laser play coming up from Baby Bird. All right. I think he needs to, um, this is a tough stage for laser camping, but I think I would like to see a little bit more lasers from uh, Baby Bird. Ooh, and he had, catches and his landing. Double jump. All right, this is a uh, winter stock for Baby Bird. Here we go. Oh. Good read by Smokey. Another up smash, Jesus. Smash tech chase, yeah. Up here. tilt. No yeah. back air. Back air up. Yeah. Still covers it. Oh, that Ooh. air dodge, that was a flub right there. Man, that, that's dead. Th Oh. That's gonna do All right, it. Alright, extra. He's going for it. Oh. And he goes for the disrespect and he gets it. Alright, All right. Smokey takes it 3 2 over Baby Bird. I honestly think Baby Bird. He was a little shaky. Yeah, he is a little that. shaken from that, but um, let's see if he can make it up. And I think he's gonna make it up versus me. Uh, well, I so think we're gonna next win. Next, we got. Oh, you wanna hop on? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, fine. Yo, JPO okay. and Fish It. Oh. Uh, okay, guys. We got a good one coming up. Alright, and I'm not commentating it. So, here you go. All right. All right, let me uh, uh, not Kuper hurt everyone's ears on. by doing this. There <laughs> you go. See to you. Now I need to get out. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Koopa Kev jumping on for this set. Hi. Now, have they played recently since Fishit came back at all? No, they have not. No, um, okay. I actually, I actually played Fishit. Two weeks ago, I believe. Yeah, I was kind of watching it. I How did got that? stomped. Damn. <laughs> All right, fish it's still in. Adam is. Adam I is need to say hi when I um, yeah, get Adam out of here. Yeah, Adam does not lose it. Dude, he's so consistent. So is he still playing DK in the Basie matchup, he's, or is he doing his Peach? He's been, um, for some reason, against Baby Bird, he's been alternating characters. He's been playing with like Peach, Doc. Yeah, he took that out today. And he, doc, tried, really? yeah, and he tried Donkey Kong too. Uh, I feel like he's a little indecisive as to how to approach Baby Bird, mm. but against me, since right. he knows me, he went straight Donkey Kong. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He can, uh, I put thought the you were in. always pretty good against his Donkey Kong. I mean, like, you picked up on it. Yeah, but. Uh, him enough, but. But Adam, I uh, you know, Bracket is a different beast, man. Adam is scary. Oh, no, uh, that's true. Yeah. It's going to be a tight set, though, because Joel is not phased by that. So we're going Peach, though, is what yeah, I saw. Yeah, that is true. He goes Peach so or DK against... Uh, it's interesting that we have Battlefield or Dreamland. Generally, it ends up being um, Fountain or Dreamland. Yeah. But... Still, uh, I so we're Adam's going right into it. Battlefield. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> Adam just found it. So... Okay, it's up there. It's gonna follow this up. Adam's probably gonna want to start looking for. Yeah, yeah I just wanna try to Adam's keep really stage. looking to snipe his jumps, is what I see. Like yeah. those float up airs are really good at comboing at full hop fox. Oh, Joel is playing the ground game like crazy right now, though. He's very precise when he plays. I'm. I noticed so that for sure with this, with this I'm trying to figure game. what Joel's like looking for. Like there's a few things Fox can definitely do. That yeah, shine, shine grab, grab super good. Cause even if you hit with the shine you don't get punished off of the missed grab. Joel looking good right now. Um, Adam can't seem to just get Joel sometimes does this thing where he just makes these like characters look extra slower than they actually are. Like Peach is slow, but like Adam looks like he can't keep up right now with the speed. Yeah, like right there, like there was no reason for the roll. I guess he was trying to shield stop. Alright, really good dash attack, but he kept his jump. Okay. Oof. That was punishable. It's weird. There's times Joel keeps getting locked out of shine, but it's throwing Adam off because he's not expecting it. Yeah. It's a one frame. It's like, it's like hard to react to <laughs> yeah. sometimes uh, in the heat of the moment. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's getting these up smash oh, follow ups wow. like crazy. 92. Right now. This is looking one, more one side than I was expecting it to. Hmm. Yeah, like it's like those nares aren't <laughs> sending him anywhere. Yeah, and then right there. should be it. He should live. Yeah. Yeah. He's just to get the touch guard attempt. All right, that was a good stall on the shine. He was able to dodge the turn out. It goes high. All right. So it gets a little too close to Peach and gets nared. Ooh. Okay. I like the nair. Respected Peach on the platform. It's like to see Adam use more down tilts. <laughs> He's just crouching their down yeah. tilts. Wow. Okay, Joel. Adam should use more of that. More of that. Mm. Okay, got the dash check. Way back, back down to oh. to cover the edge roll too. Oh my oh god, right. that yeah. was clean. See, this is his punish game that Adam just doesn't lose, dude. That was clean, and just like that, he was down two stocks. All right, he's yeah. down one stock now. <laughs> so, Joel moving though. Yeah, no, Joel's. 
fresh off the set with a uh, certain box play. <laughs> Alright, that was a really good shine because Fish It. I don't know if he does um, double jump cancels. Um, at all? No, Fish It. Oh, Fish It. Like, you know, Peach double jump cancel on the platform to react. Yeah, yeah. He should. But <laughs> I think he just did it. Yeah. Oh. He hasn't really hit down smashes besides the stock earlier, so. Yeah, Joel's was playing very careful as of just now. Oh my oh. god, it lands on Like, literally, down. his stock there was three down smashes. Yeah, his stock can tilt. That can tilt to the Fox player for sure. Oh, yeah, he's okay. Adam playing the game a little. Oh, grabs the shine. It's really important. He's letting Joel get back, though, every time, it seems. Yeah. Like, very rarely is he, like, actually edge guarding. Yeah, he's being really patient. He has tried a few edge guards, but they haven't gone too well for him yet. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I feel oh. like if he has an opportunity last stock, he's just gonna go out there and hit him. Joel's dash dance up smashes is like, oh no, uh, it landed very yeah, off yeah. frequently. You don't want to see that. The idea was air dodge onto the platform, so you have um, a, what do you call it, no lag landing, and then you can do down smash. I'm or gonna assume that this is gonna go to FD, and he's gonna with either character, either DK or Peach. Could, I could go think well. he's gonna stay Peach only because he was really starting to get his footing towards the later stocks. Yeah. Like if the beginning, the first two stocks were stayed. For the rest of the game, then you probably would switch, but right. yeah, I found. So yeah. he's staying Peach. He's gonna found first. Okay. Save the game five. FD counter pick. <laughs> That's scary though. If you get there. Do the axe. <laughs> oh. Smash the AS there up. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta camp either. Shield the eye down. Yeah. Cover your feet. Cover your tail. Yeah. Oh. Your dog is quick in. Fair, up throw okay. fair. Knows that up air probably wasn't going to connect there. Yeah. Nice roll. Wait for the rolling round. Alright, good coverage by Adam right now. Okay. Yeah, covers the ledge dash. Covers the ledge dash. Good nair. Ooh. Yeah, that's, good. A, that's a stock. That's that a good angle, that was too. That's a great. Uh, he seems to just have trouble covering the higher recoveries that Joel tries. Yeah, I mean... But, uh, the low ones he seems to have on lock. With Peach though. itself, like, it's harder if you're not going out there. Oh, that nair barely clipped him. This game is going Adam's way in every way possible. Oh. Yeah, uh, Joel kind of got lucky down there. Smash. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Fisher playing a little too close to the ledge there. He's trying to stop him from grabbing it, but... Uh, Ooh, see, that's, that's the frustrating part about this matchup is that if you, your drills aren't on point, like right there, another one that got yeah. punished with a grab. Yeah. Got down smash and he got grabbed, and I was getting chain grabbed for it. And oh, yeah, you have to, you have to really be on point. And I think that was a mid short. Yeah, Joel has those. Nice. Uh, this is yeah, this is a totally different game from before. It seemed that he just took here, took him See, here to have less room for Joel to run I around I think in. Joel should kind of just use the platforms a bit more. He's kind of just running at him on the ground. Yeah. All Joel right. likes to play his match kind of, sort of aggressively, actually. He told me that he kind of like... I mean, yeah, it could be really good if he shut to, Peach out. Like, yeah. He doesn't want to show that he's frightened of other giant scary hitboxes that Peach has and <laughs> stuff. But sometimes you got to respect him, you know? I mean, your hitboxes are smaller, yeah. but they're stronger. So. Yeah. Ooh. All right, yeah, that was good so patience. Another dash and up smash. I think Adam, he's just waiting for those Caught approaching Adam's airs. Snare, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's a clean, clean, clean. Okay. Another one. He he's totally starting to get his patience back. Yeah. He's really taking over right now. Oh, oh uh, I agree, I agree to up smash, right. yeah. yeah. He didn't lose too much off yeah, that, though, so thankfully. he still has the edge guard situation. Oh, no. Oh. Blub, blub, blub. Okay. All right. He, ran. he, he <laughs> retreated. Didn't have it. He retreated. Oh, but. he's up smashes, though. He doesn't need it. Yeah, he's, he's he went at shield recklessly. Yeah, he, he knows. He was impatient. Yeah. But it's hard. I, I think he accepted it, so. Okay, so 1-1. One, one. Where does Joel take this peach? Mm, I would think Pokemon. Yeah, for sure. This matchup is rough yeah. on that stage. Pokemon's literally peach's worst stage in this yeah. matchup. Uh, character switch. Oh, hey. there it goes. DK. Okay. Basically, you got to play this matchup not approaching the, not being in front of DK. But Fish it. Also picking the dark color, hiding oh in the background. God. <laughs> he just, just going in on Texio right now. Okay. Oh, oh that was actually, that whole sequence that was, was so was nasty. That's a good nerd. <sighs> Agricard, he couldn't finish it though. All right. I mean, he still has control. Like, he Fish does, it can't even. For right. sure, yeah. He has to, Fish it has to really get a, a really, Brutal punish right now with the grab. So he's like, he's fishing for it pretty much. 
Yeah, that was so solid. He invalidated DK in that stuff. Oh my god, Fish is like, why did I switch? <laughs> yeah. But, good. Okay. Nope. Honestly, for DK, though, nope. it only takes one grab to one do a really grab. good let's punish. See, let's see what he does here. All right, up, DI up. up, yeah. Good up B. Can he cover it? Yep. Yeah. All right. He doesn't have enough B charts. Oh, oh Phantom, Phantom hit. but it doesn't, oh. yeah, it doesn't like, seem to combo. matter. Reads the roll in. A B? All right, Bear. All right. Yeah, that's all DK needs, and that was off of, like, two grabs. Yeah, Adam's punish game with his character is kind of absurd on spaces. That was really good <laughs> as he had down on the up air. Oh, wrong way. But ah, all right, he's still good. He's no. still good. Yeah. You gotta dash attack that. That's uh, something I learned uh, no, recently, actually. Yeah, you just dash attack the crap oh, out of those okay. up B, and then you watch rinse repeat until it's, they can't come back. So you, you just, just keep dash them. attacking? You could. Um, so they so could obviously sweet spot or get lower uh, at some points, but it works. Like, so like it doesn't right there, raise them up. It doesn't. It, it does raise them up, but you cannot just send them back and mm -hmm. reset the situation. Oh, okay, okay. For if you're like not certain of like edge right. guarding, because you just came back for free there. I got you. Down to such long range. So. Oh. Oh, Tom Hawk. Okay. Yeah, I really See, like how right Joel's there. playing this right now, though. Yeah, if you, if you counterpick into Pokemon, he has more room to laser around. You might as well use it, you know? Yeah. Oh. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Two up smashes. Oh Joel 69. Yeah, Joel's looking powerful right now. Yep, just oh. point your back to him. Oh, no. Up here, after, oh. up here, man. This is. All right. Oh, gets, okay. Uh, Adam is tech chase master for the most part. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if he was going left or right. <laughs> that was a funny up beat. Yeah. Don't land on that. Okay. Spot dodge after the dare. Oh. Oh, this game is looking like a wrap. I'm Double sorry. Fair, That's up there. That's it. Yeah. I don't know if that was a good choice. I think he should have just stayed Peach and uh, give it his best. Yeah, I think he's going back to Peach yeah. after that. I mean, he can stay if he really feels like he has an idea, but Joel kind of felt like he knew the matchup. Yeah, no. That was kind of just, okay, this character Joel's, is invalidated. Yeah, Joel's, Joel's type of space to invalidate low tiers for sure. Yeah. He's super technical and, like, patient. Yeah. All right, so he took a risk going, well, he knew Pokemon was going to happen, and Peach... You didn't know how well it was going to go. If anything, there's a good thing to throw him off. But all right, he's FD doing it. FD with DK, yeah. DK. He's, he's FD. whipping out this counter pick. All right. This can work against him for sure, though. I mean. The wave shines of Joel's has them up his sleeve like that. Like, I don't know which one's better on the stage, Peach or DK. I would think Peach is because Peach is better, but. Yeah. Like, Punish, I think DK has it, like, actually zero to death. Damn, he can't land. But this is looking rough. I don't like seeing Adam frustrated. Yeah. He gets he gets frustrated pretty quickly. Things don't go his way. Okay. All right, we got a grab up air. Uh, doesn't get the re-grab. Up tilt? No. Yeah, he's, not letting, him, he's not letting him land. He's just not letting him land. Yeah, see, like, he could have just dashed it. Okay. See you, man. Oh, interesting. All right, up B. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, you could see right there. You could just up smash, but. So he just ate 30 to the face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we dashed back towards him into an up tilt. Oh. Yeah, back air grab is like DK starter, but he can't seem to get it right now. Hmm. Right there. Oh. Okay. There we go. There. There. Okay. <laughs> Up here. Finger. Pseudo get the edge Falcon guard? combo. Uh, I mean. A little bit of slop. He didn't really oh. have a good position to grab the edge in time there, but. Joel's playing patient right now. Yeah, yeah that's. This is looking hard. Okay. Yeah. You can honestly whip this out, though. Like, I. He can do this, he just has to not get what oh my god, yeah. Okay, F tilt, grab edge. Alright, he gets the re-grab. <laughs> See I'm thinking in those situations, sometimes instead of if you're not gonna hit the bear, like you could do the up B. Yeah. Oh <laughs> he does first time whipping that one out and actually really got him. Let's see. Oh my god, he's dropping these chain grabs. He's dropping oh, the chain grabs. He's yeah. 
Like, if you're gonna drop that, that's your biggest strength at yeah, this stage. Yeah, it happens. It happens only in bracket, man. I swear. <laughs> we could just get okay, stomp, re-grab. He has a punch loaded too, and that should be. Oh, he didn't get the turn. He got too high. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, it was a good effort. I don't know how. I think the Peach might have done better, but. Yeah. No, it would have been easier to chain grab too. That's yeah. so much more linear than. I mean, but. If you're a real DK at heart, you'll take the loss of DK. Yeah. So. Okay, Wait. so another Losers Quarters match. We have Baby Bird and Toucan. Baby Bird, pretty good against floaties. Um, is Toucan, or is a, Toucan, is a Ice, ice Climber, is really a floaty though? Yes. One, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? No, That's yeah. what we were saying. Yeah, we were saying like if he stayed Peach, he might have done. But you know, you can't really. <coughs> it felt like. Older players disarm, I think. Yeah, it felt like you just weren't letting him get back down in the FD game. He just yeah. kept juggling him over and over again, and it kind of like worked against him almost. Yeah. And yeah. he did miss a couple crucial chain grabs. What's that? He missed a couple crucial chain grabs on you. Yeah. 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 yeah he basically needs to zero to death me because I'm not gonna let him get another chance. Yeah. Again. Yeah. So, I mean, he's a little off, but um, are they starting? Yep. Yep. Okay. On Dreamland. Favored will laser. See, right there you could down throw, though. Yeah. But he will actually laser you forever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. He's so going after he's Nana. It's probably a thousand times better than me at this matchup, though. But let's see how he gets rid of. Oh, Nana. Yeah, that's, Nana kind of let him down there. Great. Yeah. yeah. Have to the have nice to. Yeah, he's. Oh, if you got him with the blizzard, he's not gonna sign. Oh, back so actually the shield stun made him oh, last longer yeah. to be able to get Save mana. mana hit. But and try again. Yeah. Oh, nah, I hit the stage. Yeah, a lot of damage on him though. Down smash will do it. I mean, you'll take what you can get. Yeah. The thing with Valkyrie's recovery is not too good. So like, if you get a down smash, the DI is not too good. Okay, that's die fair. early. Oh. Uh, all right. Yeah, he, he was move. a little afraid of that, but shine. Go after Nana. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, I thought he had that. That's funny. That's I funny. thought he would have lived for a second. Yeah. See, that really just happened because he dared Nana from the air, and Toucan was ready on the ground. Yeah. He needs to just like slide under these lasers as much as he can and not get spaced out too much. Baby Bird is going to play See, that strategy if you're right sure. Right there, I would like Toucan to do some more up airs to shark the platform, especially if he's right under him. Oh, oh Dan, that Dan was the brutal. Eye. <laughs> okay. Oh, is he going to mix up his recovery back? Oh, Waveland. All right, that was really bad DI, yeah, but I don't think he was expecting that bear. This is this looks really hard. That was at low percent right now. Down smash won't even like send him flying. Like it's they were gonna just like continue the onslaught and he is. Like <laughs> Dared near. I think you could just bear it out of shield would have been a better option because he would have recovered lower. Yeah. But yeah, he still has control. Yeah. So Nana can't do much. I don't know. Sopo can't do much. Yeah, right there, he basically took all this damage because he rushed in with Popo and didn't really have a combined push. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay, we got some back airs. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's that was uh, bad there. That was yeah. bad there. Yeah. Double shield there. High on shield. <laughs> I feel Baby Bird like mashes a lot, but it looks like he was late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's, it's at, this, at that point it's just like a. So like know. if you do that, you got to do it like as the grab is coming. Yeah. Which Violent. is hard to react to, but. Okay. Oh. We oh. Got, we got, oh, oh. Nano reset. That could have been crazy. Yeah. So you can react to quick enough. Or? See, this is my thing. Toucan doesn't up air. Like sometimes he does, but he could do the short hop and it could reach that platform. Yeah. I don't think he actually knows. Oh, Valiant. Right. Let's see if Toucan can actually take the stock here or if he just dies. 
Oh, that was not a good edge guard. But... Oh, that was a really weird grab. high there on shield there. Got good him wall jump though. That was a bad there, but he got out of it. Oh. Oh, just get Nana. Oh. Alright, oh, he let it rip. I liked it. Grab the edge, grab the edge. Oh. It's tricky. There we go. Yeah. Oh! I right. forgot about that one, but still still makes it back. So. Got a wobble? No, he just does uh, it. Yeah, alright. Smart. What's up? I don't know if that means you have to play him or something else. Oh. Oh. Um. <laughs> a walk. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, let the game finish. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's the game. <laughs> All right. Baby Bear taking that solid. All right, we're back on FD. Pretty much every IC's counter pick. See how Baby Bird tries to break out of this neutral stance and separate the climbers. It's really the hardest thing right now. I think he lasered Nana there, but he still got back. All right, so yeah, Baby Bird takes it. Uh, 23, not too bad, but if Isis can get their punish then. A uh, dash attack, ah, oh, I think he wanted to, but he rushed and got the F tilt. But all right, he still was able to cover it. All right, that's a full stock wobble. Actually, could have just got wobbled with that. Okay, Toucan's trying to some extra stuff. All right, all right, Toucan. Don't. Okay, he somehow still got the wobble off that. That's. I mean, pretty good. <laughs> all right. I mean, maybe Bird. You know. Oh yeah. All right. He accepted it. Three stock. He's not coming back. Or if he does, it's a long, arduous journey that you really don't even need to waste your time with, especially. In game two, when you have your counter pick, he's going to Yoshi's. All right, I like this. Aver seems to like playing close to um, Icy's, at least from the past two games. All right, that's a solid Nana kill. Kept him at bay with Bear. Shine. Uh, I can reach. He went for the up air. <coughs> Down smash. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Could have had an opposite tech there, but it's a hard one to hit. Right, really good China shield up air punishing his dare falling down. Up air up till this hitbox is so broken. Going after Nana gets hit for it, but yeah, Toucan not able to edge guard him. Goes for Nana. Okay. Didn't even see that shy guy. Good stuff on Baby Bear getting it. Bear. Yep. All 
Alright, solid play from Baby Bird here on Yoshi's. I'm liking the counter pick. It's working really well for him. Baby Bird's really been getting him on platform shielding and then shining out a shield to punish a Toucan's attempt. Alright, he's a little late on the punish to Nana. He could have possibly suicide dared or like, what do you call it? Drop dared. But, but he has a solid lead still. <laughs> Up air Nana. Alright, that's a Nana stock. Nana's percent was actually higher than Popo's, even though Popo was at like over 100. Really good delaying the bear so you get the strong hit. Could have neared there as well, but. Mm. Yeah. Toucan really just not able to get in. Alright, so got him off one bad forward smash, but it's kind of baby bird at three stocks trying to get him off the eye, off stage, something like that. It's kind of one of those risks where it's like heavily worth it if you hit it. Alright, get the eye to go to the platform or the um, edge. Nana will land on Randall. High there on shield doesn't get punished. And a bunch of smash attacks should be enough to defeat a bad character. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Toucan's only gotten it on his counter pick of FD. It was a solid three stock there, but Baby Bird's kind of had control for the rest of the set beyond that. All right, a little soul searching. Looks like we're going to Fountain. Yeah, this is definitely the next best stage I would suggest in this matchup. Throws off Falco's approaches. Still small, and you do have an FD-like stage. Um, good punish on what I think was get-up attack. Getting the first stock here with a solid wobble. Baby Bird making a lot more use of the platforms now than he did before. Well, he did on Yoshi's, but now he's kind of just like playing the floor's lava game. <laughs> okay, up till beats out the Falco up B. Okay, uh, that should be it for Nana. I don't even think you need to grab the edge there, but. A little far for the reset punish on the forward smash, but Toucan doesn't punish his miss. Side B can be tricky to edge guard at higher percents. Generally, like, you try to crouch cancel and then hit it, but... Oh, he held down on the up B so he didn't grab the edge. That one, you kind of just have to make sure you let go of your angle as soon as the fire starts. But so far, looking like a solid counter pick for Toucan. Yeah, also why it's a good pick. Um, most stages that shine would have killed or been very close but fountain being the highest ceiling well besides dreamland of course oh okay that was what i would hope would have been a side b but a little tech blow but he's still ahead it's two stocks even right now ish Or, uh, Baby Bird's trying to be a little more aggressive because 
He does see him sitting on the platform, wasn't really netting him too much, even if he wasn't getting hit. He's kind of have to make a play to catch up, and it looks like it's starting to pay off. Definitely brought this game back. Oh, the missed dash grab, and then the platform also rising. Really throwing off Toucan there. Alright. Oh, kept them separate. Ah. Oh. Just missed his punish on the Sopo. Catches the roll, really good. Now you really don't need it, don't want to take too much damage here. This is really crucial for Baby Bird right now. Up air, bear, all right. Yeah, it kills. All right, we're on last stock. Um, two cans tournament stock right now. Hmm, okay, that's a tricky situation. Oh, up tilt grab. That was really good. I think he had one of them up air and the other up tilt, and the up tilt caught the DI off of the up air. That was actually really interesting. And Tukin or a Baby Bird did DI the up tilt afterwards. Probably could have SDI'd that onto the platform, but yeah, good. All right, so game five, Baby Bird going to Dream Battlefield. Get Nana back. Gets hit with forward smash. All right, there's Nana. Baby Bird still keeping the edge guard up. Hits him, but yeah, okay. I was thinking grab edge, but still covered it. Right there, the shield and shine out of shield punish. It's kind of tricky, but tomahawking might be a good idea if Toucan recognizes it in those situations, but it's really situational. And honestly, I can't think of how good Tomahawking is for ICs at the moment. Uppies, Nana keeps them separate. Actually, really smart. Um, ICs have no real way to cover that besides going for a read with the high up B. Grabs. Oh, he's still able to recover. Oh, he could have paired. All right, he manages to save Nana. It's really good. Oh, all right, that's rough with the uh, dare getting Nana early. But, okay, he cleans up the stock. Now, let's see if Toucan can get damage as a Sopo. This is really the moments where uh, you get the difference with a higher level ICs because these are those critical moments that you always run into and they really make the difference of, oh, am I just gonna reset my stock or am I gonna keep a hold of this stock even advantage and make something out of it. Um, so, Toucan doesn't really get much off of it. Ends up being the one stock differential. Okay, so that was a good way to punish the shield shine. He upbeared his shield away so that the shine went connected and then got a hit off of it. Baby Bird, this entire set, oh, okay, that was rough. But I was gonna say, it's been doing pretty, a pretty decent job at target switching, keeping Toucan on his toes, not tunneling on Nana or the like. Like right here, hits Nana away, goes for Popo, kills Nana, goes for Popo. Maintaining stage control and all that. Now, the same situation that we had earlier, um, baby, uh, Toucan loses his stock pretty much right away. Power shield grab into check chase. Oh, all right, really good DI hitting the dare. Ah, uh, high dare, okay. Oh, that's rough. It's one of those things you wanna get the dare out before the characters connect. But at the same time, if you misspace it, do it too early, hit their shields, then it can be your stock just like that. There are other options. You could do it later. You could do it in air or whatnot. But OK, 
Okay. Ebert staying to the platforms. Trying to separate them. Toucan actually being the aggressor here right now. They're kind of in a neutral state. They have four minutes to work with. It's not going to be that long, but, you know. It's really interesting that Toucan's chasing him down. All right, so Baby River found his opening, got them separated. Ooh. And he cleans it. I was kind of surprised that F Smash killed, I'll be honest. But good stuff, Baby Bird. Closing it out. Game five, last stock on Battlefield. All right, and with that, we move on to winner's finals where we have Smokey Blunts versus Koopa Kev. Smokey Blunts beating Baby Bird in Winter Semis and Koopa Kev beating JPO. We'll have another Fox Ditto here. Hello. What's up? Frick Fox. I hate Fox. <laughs> I hate, uh. why, why Fox? <laughs> Tell us a Smokey. Uh, that's still on your mind of all things? Yeah. All right. That's surprising. Yeah. You know, usually when you play ICs, you think, oh, screw ICs. Nah. I don't <laughs> know. I'm very confident I'm going to always beat ICs because. Oh, that's a good. They only. I mean, that was a closest game. Like it's, It kind of was, but. Like, it didn't. Like, it felt like you had control for the most part. And it was just like a couple of little flubs, a mm -hmm. couple of things you took advantage of. FD being FD. That's yeah. Stupid, but. Oh, that's I mean, the thing. It's like against yeah. ICs, I always feel in control, so I'm never really too scared yeah. to play them. So, I mean, it was game five last stock. But it was, but it's definitely a good idea, even if it's that close, to know that like I can beat this character. Yeah. Like I know the matchup. I just got to play my game plan and all that. And then if you lose, it's just okay. I messed up something. Yeah, it's basically it. But it's kind of just uh, I don't know. I just feel. But as Falco versus ICs, FD is always gonna be a wash. Yeah. Unless you hardcore outplay them. <laughs> and then, it feels so good yeah. to do it, though. Pokemon is like, it's even, so it's whatever. And then every other stage is so in your favor, it's ridiculous. Mm. So you I like, think Pokemon's a little better with transformations being a thing? Uh, I don't know. It's, because you, you, can, you can, you can, it depends on which transformations, obviously. But like, half transformations, now the player has to interact. Yeah. So like, Isis can just run away and do whatever. But then like... The other two are pretty good for Falco because they're high up, so you can just be high up and he can't reach yeah, you. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, I, I was saying a lot. Like, it took him, like, basically the entire set, but you would do a lot of the times, like, shielding on the platform and then shining out a shield and separating mm -hmm. them, basically yeah. getting a whole full punish out of it. Yeah. And only in the last game did he, like, up air away from you yeah. and force you to shine and then punish you off it. But, like, that didn't come out till game five. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it was kind of a little late because you were already, like, in the lead when he did it. All right, so they go to Dreamland. I don't want to play either of these players. <laughs> I mean, you still have. I still have to play JPO, yeah. So you're so all another Fox. Fox. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I walked in today and I saw all Foxes and I was like, oh, jeez, <laughs> it's gonna be a great day. I mean, you gotta know Tri-State is like spacey. I know. Especially like oh, here. Oh, that was a very <laughs> ambitious. Yeah, I know. All right, so. I Let's, uh, let's jump into a little bit. Um, Eric's got the first stock here. Seems kind of back and forth, but Eric's... Oh, that could have been a down smash. That was a good air dodge, but he still covered it. A really good ankle saves him. I just wait for the, wait for the get up attack, punish. Classic stuff. Yeah, it's probably looking solid right now. Dash attack up smash, really good DI actually saves him here. And a leap back here. Right, dash, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and a dash attack up smash. So it's interesting. Kevin going for the up smash tech chases here. Mm -hmm. Not really bad or anything, it just kind of like dictates what'll happen to set. And they're, they're just like super simple things that uh, you know, could be better, but they do rack up enough percent that they're worth it. Yeah. Well, that was an interesting coverage. Uh, you kind of just gave him the ledge there. I don't know. Maybe he thought he was a little bit above it. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, but like, 
don't know, he was in position to go for something, but mm -hmm. I don't know, he played it safe. It's working out. Grab. Got bear. Okay, bear. Yeah. Dash attack up smash. Mm -hmm. So Kevin kinda has caught on like to keeping oh. it even, but Smokey kinda just had a really big lead at the start and it's like he's trying to fight to take it back. Alright, staying on, this is a really good punish right now. Yeah, he's just kinda all over him at oh. He like misspaced the pivot grab oh, a little bit. Took he jump jumped out. into it, that sucks. Really good angle again, saves him. That was a really dumb grab. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep, reads the roll. He should live, but... Uh, Nair. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised he had to jump Nair out in time. Yeah, all right, game one. Hmm. All right, where are we looking? Uh, I see the reflection of his glasses of his Pokemon. Yeah. I know Kev does go to Pokemon often. I wonder why he didn't versus JPO though. Um, or at least he goes Pokemon versus me. Yeah, I don't. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure. Whoa! Ooh. Down smash. Oh she my! Right yeah, he didn't have to shine. Like it was the same situation the last talk. Like he ended up getting it then, but like now it's back to neutral. But. And he almost had a cool combo. I mean, it was still pretty cool. Well, <laughs> didn't finish though. If you don't finish it, you lose like. Half your cool points. <laughs> okay, he reacts to oh. the neutral get up with a grab. Alright, really good nares. Cover the dash attacks. Uh, and pivot up smash. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Bit scrablish. Really good SEI gets him out, or um, slide off gets him all out of the combo. See, Eric has that habit from trying, oh, that was really good there, um, of trying to teeter drop on fountain. <laughs> that he'll get the like perfect like edge spot to get the turnaround, even when you're not even going to do it on that stage. That's silly. <laughs> like, that's exactly why he does it. He just runs, mm -hmm. stops at the edge. All right, pit fight, pit fight, pit fight. God, this is such a bad pit fight. <laughs> <laughs> you got to dare more. Oh, yeah, no. That's why you got to. Uh, yeah, straight to the light, uh, straight to the pit. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Gives him so he just went like straight. Whenever he was like in line at ledge, he went straight twice. Yeah. All right. Well, this was that pit kind of made it even. Up smash, up smash, misses the tech. Smokey could have grabbed the up tilt, but he was patient with it. Uh, oh, good. That's yeah, I mean, he could have just up smash, but. Yeah. I don't know. He made it a little bit more difficult on himself. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's the okay, chaos. Huh? <laughs> oh, that was a really good up. Um, fair up smash. Yeah, he goes for fair up smash a lot of realists. I remember like three years ago when that wasn't even a thing. <laughs> Slide off wasn't a thing like um, a year ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so simple, too. Yeah, I know. I was expecting to get attack, I'm not gonna lie. He like covered every option there, and then just like when he got the grab, he just didn't do anything off it. Oh. That was very ambitious. Just and like 10% off. It's like it wouldn't have worked at that percent in a trillion years <laughs> unless Koopa kept like over the controller. Yeah. See, right there, that would have worked. I Kevin think it was supposed to be an up smash. Yeah. yeah, no, he tried it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, hey, well. <laughs> man. Kind of looking pretty similar to the first game. I mean, it's really just you got to have a little more solid punish. Mm -hmm. Maybe bait a little more of some of his approaches, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to adapt small, minute things mm -hmm. in a set like that. But we got a color change again. I don't get the color change, but I mean, it worked last time. <laughs> I mean, oh, kind of. All right, gets the thunders, continues it. All right, I'm, I'm liking. Oh my uh, god! Misses the dash. 
Again, almost a cool combo. For, ooh, ooh, okay, was, okay. So okay. Uh, I like the color change. I think, <laughs> I think this Working is out his for first him. lead this entire set, so, yeah. F-tilt? Oh, I would have F-tilted <laughs> every day of the week. Or F-smashed or something. Probably would have F-smashed. Yeah. <laughs> no edge? Oh, nice. I'm surprised he got the platform on that. I am nice. Yeah, setting up for the uh, yeah, you, aerial edge cancel to edge. Yeah, if you ever like just roll edge, you can shield grab edge cancel all your arrows. It's sick. Ooh, oh, no. That was really bad. That sucks. Messed up getting to the edge and then messed up coming from the edge. Yeah. And then he tried to tech, but he slid off before he tried to tech, so he was yeah. dodge. All right, this is really good pressure. Ooh, Gets the ooh. double jab. Okay, really good angle. Oh, oh yeah, another short. That short one was really good. Yeah, it was. Nair. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that angle. It was being the edge. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why Cooper kept space it that far away. Ooh, wow. Okay, so he got the tech <laughs> up smash, but the dare yeah. generally is better if they land already, or else it just resets them because you're daring them in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like there should never work in the air, but sometimes it does. Oh, like right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, like that should, yeah. <laughs> and see, on the ground, that was good, but um, he didn't hit the last um, frame of it that mm -hmm. you need for that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's I like lead. when you're explaining something and then the other player does it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can he clean this up? Uh, see, he doesn't need to do the shine there. Well, it, I don't know. It's kind of like he can either get a straight hit and get a little bit of percent, or he can go for the shine. Yeah. He can go for like the harder option and make it even, and, and like I feel some like people like taking the risk. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, I I agree. I think you should go for like the the safer option. But like the safer option still works, but yeah, but just not as rewarding. Oh, nice. Uh, I mean, he cut. He like yeah. he covered it. Hey, I'm right. back. Oh. All right, so you against Joel, right? Joel, yeah. Yep. All right, well, good luck. Yeah, I'll try. Well, that was a solid 3-0. <laughs> good stuff to Koopa Kev. I mean, we'll see him again after this mix up. All right, so now we have all spaces. Tri-state spaces. Let's see, can the bird prevail through the towering fox lineup that we have here tonight? Okay. Now these are going towards our Fend the North. I think it's two players will get um, hotel and venue for Defend the North for Melee. Um, currently we have Koopa Kev actually in first place with 120 points and Smokey in second with 105. Oh, okay. So actually, all the top three competitors are all in attendance here today. So this will be really big towards the standings. Okay, so Baby Bird, Fox, Falco. We end up going to FD. So this is the same, or are they not going FD? Okay, don't know what the striking was, but we're going to Fountain. Solid opening we have from Kevin here. Or, sorry, Joel. Uh, I mean, you hate to see it happen, but you'd rather it happen in the beginning of the set. All right, misses the F tilt, but still keeps the pressure going. Oh, all right, nice try with the air dodge. He went for the edge, but Baby Bird covered it. Attack ready was going to the edge, covered it, so baby we're taking the lead. Ooh, solid up tilt. Dare, yeah. Alright, too low a percent to oh we get a teardrop. 
Yeah, too low percent to get the edge guard. Oh. Baby Bird playing very safe here. It's working out really well. These are, oh there. Yep, done. Oh. Simple and clean. I like that in a Falco. <laughs> All right, so we're sticking with the small stage. He kind of just feels, I'm guessing that he got a little cheese, a little dropped in some stuff, but going to Yoshi's, which I don't know. I feel this is like, it's really preference, but against Baby Bird, I can see it. Missing his L cancel or doing an awkward spot dodge, really. Okay, good an angle, and Shy Guy's kind of helping out a bit. Good near clips the laser, but he gets burned by the up A. Is he going for edge? Alright, but stage definitely looking like a solid pick. Uh, he went for the read on the tech in. Like one out of four options, basically. <laughs> okay, Falco runs past forward smashes. <laughs> I think both players getting a good laugh out of that. Up to it? Alright. Goes for the edge read with the wave dash back to it. Clips his laser with an air, but Baby Bird side B's gets out. Good quick reaction. Joel wasn't able to capitalize in time. Mm. Alright, yeah, that was a bad approach, right, Baby Bird? That Joel easily punished, but. Still pretty close. Oh, up tilt. Catching and going to the ledge. Up tilt's hitbox is really big, like outside of where it actually looks. Good SDI on the up air, getting away from the platform punish. Good lasers, that was an interesting up air. And missed tech, clean forward smash on it, and turn around there, yep. Okay, Baby Bird coming back after being, I'm pretty sure this is a reverse four stock right now. There. Oh, up there. Oh, okay. That was clean. Yeah, reverse four stock from Baby Bird right here. Ah. All right. Is he going to go back? Yeah, we're going back. Joel's confident in his pick. Mm. That was clean. All right, nice. Only took 8%. Clean stock from Joel right now. All right, really good getting the um, grounded F um, up smash so Baby Bird can get a punish. Randall interrupting here a little bit. All right, Baby Bird being a little cheeky with his smash attacks right now. See, he did the runoff, but I don't think he meant to. Generally, if you do the runoff in that situation, it looks like a um, like double laser back, but it looked like he wasn't confident in it. But clean by Joel. This is kind of how the last game looked, though. So, you know, doesn't really mean much right now. All right, Baby Bird looks like he'll get this, I hope. Commentator's curse, sorry. Up tilt. Oh, and the shine. All right. It was an aerial shine, though, so Baby Root gets to get up with the shield. But, all right. Are we actually going to get another four stock? Well, a real four stock this time. Nope. All right. Again, commentator's curse. <laughs> JV, you won't? Nope. Joel being really patient, holding center stage. Really good Tom Hong. Misses the tech chase, but still keeping the pressure. Yeah. 
Up tilt. Oh, grabs edge. Baby Root hasn't really gone for the edge in these situations where Joel has expected him to, but uh, he could have went for Randall, honestly, but I don't think he was looking at it. I think he kind of accepted in game state. But, all right, let's see what uh, Baby Root's playing in here. We're going to FD. All right. Now, uh, I mean, Again, same as I said about the Yoshi's pick, it's like ultimately a style choice, but yeah, I don't know how this will go, but we'll see. Okay, fair, catches him with the shine, dash attacks, dare, F smash, oh, so many DI yeah, mix-ups in that. Jill knows that was silly, but caught him. Chain grab. All right, drops it. That's just the shine off the ground. But I think, if anything, that actually freed up Baby Bird. All right, goes for the edge. Oh, he would have lived if he went for the edge there, but. All right, keeping the laser pressure, keeping away from the shield. Uh, a little late on the F smash. All right, see. Baby Root's really getting these grounded techs or DIs on the up smashes. Low percent. It's not really a guaranteed punish. And uh, yeah, Baby Bird taking the lead on his counter pick. Currently 2 1 in the set. If our Falco hero can move on and take over and uh, own this Fox Gauntlet, or can Joel take this game and shut him out and have it Fox only 20xx final destination and all that? All right, Baber really keeping the pressure here. Uh, kind of slips and gets punished hard with the shine. Really good shine. He was at 100 though, and that combo would have worked at any percent, but. Good dash attack, gets the bear, edge guard, nice. It was far enough where he was able to generally react to his angle and cover it with a strong punish. He hit the crotch on the shine, but he jump aerialed. Really good spacing, Baby Root's having, dancing around Joel. Up smash, really good hitbox heading him forward. See, oh, caught the invincibility, or the lack of on the up B refresh, and then Joel air dodges, trying to do a ledge dash. Mm. All right, solid. Baby Bird got it. Now Koopa Kev stepping up to the plate. I feel like this will go FD. All right, Dreamland. All right, so Kevin ended up picking Dreamland at the end. Losers finals, everybody. Baby Bird versus Koopa Kev. Taking the first stock. <coughs> Alright, Kevin making pretty good use of the platforms right now. Oh, turn around, charge down smash. Kevin's been doing these angles. They're very high up ones that 
makes you get an, basically another chance or avoid an edge guard, but they were covering it that time. They were missing his shine pressure, getting punished for it. Reading the roll, getting the grab, dash tags, keeping the punish on. All right, Derek gets him out of it. We haven't seen too many power shields out of the foxes that he's played yet. It can really make a big difference if it does come up more. Alright, yeah, Kevin not falling for the F smash bait. No, dancing around the shield. Oh, he misses the punish. Oh, yeah. Drops the stock for that. Maybe Nerf Bird knows what he did wrong. Bear? Yeah. Should be alive. Yeah. It's kind of a hard angle to hit. Especially because you don't know if he's going to hit the platform or not. Alright, nice bear wall. Catches a double jump. Alright, pretty even game. Shine F smash. Definitely could have had more of a combo starter, but <laughs> uh, Baby Bird loves those smashes. I mean, what is it? Don't change something that's working, something like that. Bear? Yeah. See, the way he had it set up, it was pretty clear cut what he was going for. Kevin still went the angle, so it ended up just being a missed time input. Yeah, it should be dead. Yeah, rolls up. Double jab, grab. It's a weak hit bear. Dashes away. Double spot dodge gets him out of that. Kept Baby Bird even laughing at that. Uh, dare, yep, solid. Baby Bird wrecked him a little slowly, so Kevin just has to roll up. Shine would have got it anyway. Alright, last stock. Up smashes. Oh, he had the read and then he second X and guessed himself. Grab the edge? No? I don't know, edge was kind of free there. Rolls into where he lands so he can get a shine. Ah, uh, bad flop there from the edge is going to get him killed. Yeah. Alright, baby bird. We got a crowd just lining up here for this. Alright, so Kevin goes to Yoshi's this time. Small stage. Trying to stuff Falco out. Don't let him run over. You gotta take over the stage. Kevin not letting up right now, keeping pressure. Oh, waited for a roll. Baby Bird smart, went back to the edge. Clean ledge dash, but Kevin runs all the way to the other side to punish it. Oh, ready for it. Oh, messes up a shine out of shield, gets a spot dodge. There you go. Oh, eh, I don't know about the down smash there, but still got a punish, kept his punish going. Shine there, uh, okay. Really good short and saved him. F tilt. Bear. Uh, went a little too early. Not able to punish the high option. But this should be it. Yeah, off the top. Chase punches give Kevin the stock there. 
stock lead on Yoshi's. Ooh, good up tilt, catching and falling through the platform. Really good air dodge. Kevin couldn't really do much to punish it, just gotta keep stage control at that point. I don't know about that up smash. He's kinda expecting Baby Bear to rush off. Get up attack, kinda doesn't space around it. It's a little hard. So he dares into shield, realizing it was a bad dare and being in a good position for the shield. Overshooting with fair is interesting. Alright, solid back airs give him stock. Randall's on the other side of the map. There he is. Cheeky smile. Grab release! <laughs> Into death. Day Bieber definitely could have jumped there, but neither player expecting and getting a good laugh out of it. Kevin kind of, well, three stocks. And Baby Bird going to FD. I don't know, I feel one of these foxes has got to show him. It's got to show him why Fox wins the stage. I mean, if it's not the top level, then it's kind of a lot more technically demanding. But, I don't know, 2019, if you don't at least know what you're doing on this stage then. Well, we have new players all the time, so can't really say 17 year or probably more than that actually. Oh, he was going for the shine turner around there. He was a little late on the input of the dare, gets hit by the fire from it. So keeps this uh, four stock game. Beaver keeps his jump though. Bear? Oh that's not guaranteed off of up throw, so it's kind of like a read on the DI. Yeah, solid play by Kevin. Yeah, see, like right there if Kevin DI is like far away, you can't get the bear, but um, some Falcos actually like to go for a jab or get like a tech situation, and then you can like, if they miss a tech or they don't tech, you can just like aerial on their landing. Or you can like tech chase off of it and go from there. Mm. Oh, he's gone for some of these up airs and they're instinct, but oh, fair F smash. Really solid punish at that percent. Kevin reading the roll again. That's the second time that's happened this set already. First time was on Dreamland that I remember. Oh, just runs past him running away. Ah, oh, that was a really good laser. Catches his side B and Kevin not reacting fast enough. You can side B at the right timing to get that almost instant to land back on stage. But... <laughs> laser breaks out of the grab. Another interesting grab interaction they've had today. Now, Kevin hasn't really gotten any grab punishes. It's mostly just been like small interactions with aerial punishes. All right, here we go. And see, he drops it. it it's slightly different for Falco, like percent-wise. But it's what makes this stage good for Fox. And if you're not hitting it, then it's why Falco is able to like play and compete and possibly have a better matchup on the stage. But yeah, it's solid edge guarding. Kevin still has the lead here. I don't know what baby was going for there. <laughs> Gets punished by it. Alright, yeah, the slight DI. So that's the thing, you either have to I think pivot grab, you can up smash or you can up tilt. But if you just go for the same grab, it's not gonna work if they DI it properly. It's like mid to high thirties. Falco gets out similarly to Mart's Tinger up in the same way with a similar DI and you can shine out of it. Oh, solid play by Baby Bird. Takes it back on his counter pick. 2 1 in the set.
game four, we go to Battlefield. It's a really good short in getting the edge from a high angle like that. And catching the missed attack with the up smash. Okay, tight battle. Even stocks. A uh, really good SDI on the jab, avoiding thunders. Full hopping, avoiding the get attack. All right, really good down tilt. And ooh, okay. If he was a little farther out, that dare actually would have just killed. All right, solid nair placement. Covers the edge, covers the angle really well. Gets the edge guard off it. But Kevin is at high percent. Uh, good F tilt, bear follow up, laser. Mm, see, those are like the standard PB lasers where you cover their downward angle and then it makes them fall lower. If they go up, then you just react to it after you laser. All right, solid bears. He actually reads his jump after the first bear. A lot of, um, oh! Really good. A lot of space uh, went for the read on the S smash there. I was gonna say shine out of shield avoids that, but we'll wave dash out. F smash overpowering get up attack. Yeah, charge F smash guarantees the edge guard. All right, baby bird ahead, two one here again. Oh, power shield grab by the edge, doesn't get the follow-up. Right, grabbing the edge, though. Getting edge again. Right, baby, we're gonna get out of the corner, he does. Misses the grab. Oh, F smash, lasers. Oh, just misses the bear, reads the angle, though. All right, dares, and yeah. See, right there, I always like to laser. You always try to get that little damage, make them shield or whatever, stop their movement. Or sometimes you can even hit them trying to like grab the edge. It's kind of cheeky, but it's like that extra why not. F tilt. I was expecting another F tilt again. All right. Oh, gets the slide off off the tech, but Kevin covers it. Kevin, oh, up here reads a full hop. Oh, he goes for the full hop there. Oh, yeah, and the bear off the hit. Oh, Baby Bird making it all the way back to Grand Finals. All right, so it'll be Baby Bird versus Smokey Blunts. All right, well, I am Havoc. This will be your Grand Finals match. All right, good luck, boys.
Mission complete.